Hello. Hey, uh, hi everybody. I think this is working. Um, not usually used to live streaming, so here we go. Now, welcome to the state of the collection for 2023. The where I'm not just let me start up. Welcome to the 2023 state of the collection. Uh, I where it's going to be a little different than your normal state of the collection videos because I'm not just going to be showing you a bunch of watches, but I'm also going to be trying to sort through a bunch of watches. So that's why this is more of a state of the mess collection because I have way too much watches here. I think between what I got here and back there, I don't know, we're looking at maybe 120 or so. Um, although a lot of that is also because I've been doing this with the channel for five years and got a lot of watches accumulated just because of that, not just because I've been hoarding watches. Uh, now that's the plan at least, uh, but we do have a lot to go through. So we'll see how much we get through within the time we have. I also have a new cam setup that I'm hopefully will work through all this where I actually have a secondary cam down. I can actually show you guys what I'm talking about rather than just trying to hold it up here. Uh, and I'm also going to be joined by two of my co-hosts from the collection conundrum, and we might go off on a few tangents. So without further ado, let me introduce them. And that's going to be Alton from half past blog and Dave from just the watch. Hi guys. Hey everybody. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you guys doing? Doing good. 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 Glad to be here. Yeah. Anything you guys want to talk about before we get going? Anything plug or just, just here for fun. We'll see what happens. So just, just to be clear, we're paring you down to a five watch collection as well. Not, not quite. I, <laughs> I sh top five. I should pare down a, a lot. I mean, I wouldn't be ideally, I should probably cut down half of this because that's sort of the problem with all this has been, and I'm sure Dave, you can relate, is after doing this for so long, it's like people just give you watches. And at least for me, I don't want to get rid of a watch as soon as a brand or somebody gives it to me just because I feel it's kind of disrespectful. So I always at least try to give it like three, four, five months before even thinking about it. I, I try yeah. to give it a chance. Yeah, um, I kind of do the same. Yeah, and then after a while, every once in a while I buy stuff, especially if I find something that's like a good deal. And sometimes I get around to making a video with it. Sometimes I don't. Then you'll see a few watches here that I never got around to. Um, so how many watches do you think you need to get rid of tonight? Uh, maybe like tonight. at least to put on the chopping <laughs> block. Um, let's go for 40, <laughs> at least 40. You, you need to get, we need to clean, get rid of 40 tonight. Maybe not get rid of them. Just like, or, or down them. to 40 the or thing. set them aside, set them yeah. aside. Um, mm -hmm. so put it this way. Um, one of the reasons I'm doing this, I mean, I've been planning to do this for a long time, just kind of sort through this and sort through and really determine what is my core collection what is kind of stuff I'm just keeping around for the channel. So call them channel watches and stuff I should be getting rid of because I'm just not wearing them and better to have somebody else enjoy them than just sitting around doing nothing with them. Um, and one of the reasons that I'm deciding now to do that is might as well do wrist checks. Uh, I'm wearing a new watch that I bought. Actually, let me pull it up. Which is in Oris Aquas with the caliber 400 which is probably one of the more expensive watches I've ever bought since. And just seems the responsible thing is to do to sell some stuff I'm not wearing to help cover that. That is, that's a beautiful watch. That's a yeah. great pickup. Yeah. yeah. But, I'm wearing uh Seiko SKX tonight. Oh, classic. Yeah. Nice and simple. Fridays are my, my day off. So I like to wear comfortable and, Easy going watches on my day off. It's morning here, so I just put this on, but I'm I've also going Seiko going with the dress KX. Again. Cool. See that. You just had your five KX uh, video out, right? Review right. Recently. Yeah, I picked up both of these at the same time. I mean, I, I know the five KX is kind of a classic, but I like the dress KX better. Yeah, it's the same. I think I don't even have the five KX anymore. I like how you reviewed the I like how you reviewed the 5KX, but it's too late. All right. So I guess, should we just get to it? I guess. All right. Yeah, let's go for it. All right. So let's see if I can get this set up where we're all off on the side and 
my cameras here. So might as well just start off um, with watches that I've just had laying around. These are some of the stuff I've been working on over the last couple of weeks. They're not actually in watch boxes. I got a bunch of watch boxes back here to go through. Um, stuff I've been wearing, stuff I'm working on, they're out. So might as well just start with this stuff. Um, so, well, I guess start with that one. That one's definitely a keeper if we're sorting through stuff. So first up, I guess, was the last review, which was the RZE Ascentis, their new GMT based on the NH34, which is all titanium. Great watch. This is one I'm definitely keeping. Um, I've already done a couple trips with it. Just absolutely love it. Extremely comfortable because it's all lightweight. And the bracelet's pretty cool, too. Although I think, Dave, you had a problem with the bracelet on it. Yeah, for me, it was pulling hairs. Um, and I, yeah, I, I noticed, uh, uh, Peter Costa did a review. He mentioned mm. the same thing on his, uh, which is a shame because it is a really cool bracelet. I liked it. Yeah. Uh, but I wound up going that kind of downgrading it back to the previous bracelet. Cause I still have the, uh, Endeavor, I think which okay. is like basically yeah. that watch, but not GMT. So they, yeah. the bracelets are, I think they list one as slightly bigger, like 40 and a half, but they say this one's 40, but I don't know. You know, I wouldn't think that those colors would work together, but they really do work. Yeah. That's pretty yeah, cool. I like it. And for those of you at home, forgive me if my hands are moving up, down. I'm kind of doing this upside down on this side. So if I'm not positioned properly. All right. So next up, um, another recent purchase. Yeah, sorry. Is a Monta Triumph. So oh. That one. Yeah, I've been wanting to check one of those out for a yeah. while. Um, I bought this actually used, found what I thought was a good deal on eBay for it, and just sort of jumped on it. Out of all their watches they have, because they're kind of an expensive micro brand, this is the one I've always sort of been obsessed with, just because it's sort of their field watch and kind of a explorer alternative that they completely different look. And this thing is incredibly like crazy thin. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, and the only downside with this one, um, it has the older bracelet style, so it doesn't have the quick adjust. Okay. It's still a really nice bracelet, although this, since it's secondhand, it's a little scratched up. Yeah. But otherwise, but I, that that thinness, I think it really does kind of. That's like one of the things you get when you start jumping up a little bit in price. Yeah. Is they get they're able to make it thinner, and it, it does. Yeah, that's one of the biggest like actual differences i've noticed in watches that price range yeah actually let's go back to the rz just for a second since he was saying the uh, the links on it it's a quick comment yeah it's this really interconnected sorry uh they're kind of interconnected completely flexible and yeah i could easily see how hairs get caught in that and pulled but i don't know for some reason my hairs which are pretty thin i guess didn't so i think it just really depends on who you are um let's see all right this one was one i was wearing yesterday might as well talk about that which is a zodiac olympus yeah yeah and this is not the stock band the stock one was this blue leather which was nice but i traded up for maybe a little more color no, I like the, you know, uh, the your color collect the color collection's thing. gone a little. Your collection's gone a little upscale. <laughs> a little bit <laughs> here. And there. You're, you're gonna have to stop talking about budget watches pretty soon and uh, start talking about Rolex. Yeah, I don't know about that, but but yeah, it's one of the coolest. I think one of the coolest watches Zodiac makes, just because it's really it's unusual case shape, which I think they call like a manta ray shape. Um, yeah, is that is the case asymmetrical or is it? It's symmetrical, like. This but the crown, it? except for the yeah. crown, or, yeah, except for the crown, right? Okay, yeah, it's like almost like a shield. Yeah, or I think yeah, some people say it's like a Batman logo, or they call okay, it like yeah. manta ray. All right, I could see that. And this is like a, the blue jeans version. Yeah, that's a real interesting finish on the dial. But yeah, yeah Alton brings like up a good, a good question: like, what is what is the average length of time it takes from the time you start watch collecting till you buy your first Rolex? <laughs> Yeah, hopefully. I don't know. I've just never really been interested in, in Rolex. Um, maybe you're similar to that, I think, because it's like I'm just a, I'm a practical person. Right. Um, 
and well, though, I think every, all of us sort of start off with like when you first buy your first hundred dollar watch, you're like, wow, this is crazy expensive. Yeah, yeah. And then it's amazing how quickly that just kind of goes off. You the know, cliff. right? Yeah. I remember telling my wife, "Honey, there's this two hundred dollar watch. I'll never need another watch yeah. ever again if I yeah. buy this." Yeah. And it seems so crazy. And now I'm like, "Oh, should I buy that eight hundred dollar Casio Frogman?" You know, <laughs> right? It's, yeah. it's That'll be a great beater watch, right? <laughs> yeah, nice beater watch. Yeah, yeah. You say most watch collectors move up market. Key is to do it slowly and consistently, and that's kind of what I've been doing over the last five years. Um, although for me, I don't know about you guys. It's my collection's been really tied to the channel. So as the channel's grown, yeah. like my watch budget that comes out of whatever I make out of the YouTube channel. Right. It's kind of the yeah. agreement with the wife in order to do some of this stuff. Um, although one of the reasons I wore this yesterday, I'll give uh, Jack Mason a plug. Um, Jack Mason, I reviewed their Strata Timer a couple months ago. Yep. Uh, and they're starting a podcast, so they asked me to come down and be their first guest. Um, so I wore this specifically because Zodiac is actually owned by Fossil. Fossil's a sort of local brand. Well, I mean, well, Fossil's a local brand, so Zodiac is sort of local, sort of not. Um, and one of the guys over at Jack Mason used to work for Fossil. And he was the one I was doing the podcast with, Peter. Oh, okay. So it was kind of a, like, hey, you know, connection there. Yeah. So did he have any insights on the Zodiac? Is he... uh, I think he think he might have. They really think he said something about they really started kicking it off right after he left to start Jack Mason. Um, but he still knows some people over there. Uh, see, this one, might as well just show this off. This just showed up, and this is another example of why I have so many other watches because San Martin just decided to send this over. Uh, okay. Some new watch of theirs, at least this time, because last time, I don't know if you remember that review. They didn't even tell me. It just showed up in my house. Yeah. This time they at least said, hey, here's a DHL tracking number. They didn't ask me okay. beforehand, though. There you go. Uh, interesting. Nice rice bracelet. Yeah, interesting watch because it's like a 62 Moss, but 38 millimeter. Oh, okay. Yeah, the dial um, kind of reminds me of that, what, that glass glass shoot? Yeah. To diver. Yeah. And they actually finally got like a really good micro adjust or on the fly. Adjustment. Okay. Yeah. Those are starting to come out more. I'm seeing them on more and more watches now, which is great. I love that. Feature. Yeah, I can do it. yeah. That's the best. I mean, you used to have to spend at least a thousand dollars to get a, yeah. an yeah. adjustable yeah. bracelet. Although the way they're going, right. San Martin will be up around a thousand dollars within a week. Yeah. I think this one, market too. maybe like, 350 400 i don't know they're they're going up fast and it's kind of a question of how long can they sustain that before people see it's not necessarily worth it um all right so this one this will be my next review coming out which is a crazy watch this is the gilded version of the sega uh blue planet or what's it blue planet uh, yeah blue planet i reviewed the titanium version that came out last year um, liked it, but I thought it was a little pricey for kind of a gimmicky watch. Evidently, they sold enough because they've doubled down on the crazy and gone with a full ceramic case, ceramic bracelet, and 24 karat gold on the dial. Dang. And it's it is really a looker, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's stunning to look at. Um, now, I've cool. never held a ceramic watch before. Is it is that like heavier than steel, the ceramic? Or um, I think it's lighter weight, if I lighter remember right. So it's getting close to titanium. But it always has this weird, like, cool to the touch feel to it, uh, which is sort of interesting. Interesting what the review will be out, I think, because uh, they're going to start selling it next week. But crazy watch for the most part. Uh, so next up, and if any of you guys watching, feel free to chime in with any questions, or if you want me to show something off again more. A Arnie, of course. Uh, this is a review been working on this one for a while i really need to get it out i can't see you wearing an arnie it just doesn't seem that's like why i style. bought it it, it kind of <laughs> isn't to be honest with you and that's why like i maybe, bought it to check it out maybe a little that nerd movie kind of thing that's but why the style is yeah medium. yeah i honestly i don't really get any digi watches but i've always wanted to try an arnie i think this is one of these slightly Still the refresh, but there's like the newer ones out that I think actually have like dive computers and all sorts of other stuff in it. Um, although the other reason I wanted the Arnie just to try it out, um, 
because uh, when I was still in California, maybe Dave can relate to when I graduated from college, Schwarzenegger was still president. So on my diploma since I went to a state university, a president, president of us. Sorry, sorry, Gra- yeah, governor of California. <laughs> since I went to a state university, you know his signatures on the diploma. Oh, so like that, that's just one of the coolest things about it. Not so much my degree; it's just that Arnold Schwarzenegger signature. Right. There. Yeah. Uh, another review kind of coming out, which is a new Phoebus. Uh, this is the third version of their Proteus. They did a steel, they did an age steel, and for some reason they thought they wanted to do bronze. So, all right. You never know what they're doing these days. Oh, yeah, I have not been talking about that. Sorry. <laughs> so, let's go back for a second. This one will be sold um, because I just. It's not really me in the end. I'm just kind of had it for the review. This one, I always like to try to give watches a chance, but I think I have enough black dial, so it'll probably eventually go. The Zodiac is definitely a keeper. The Manta is definitely a keeper. The Sega, we'll see. Um, put it that way. If nothing else, I might just keep it around for the channel just because it's so odd and unusual. It, that's the kind of watch that would look really good in the back of some photo shoots of yeah. other watches. Yeah. Yeah. And I think some of my uh, other reviews you might actually, I, since I do some of my show, photo shoots in batches, you might see it in the background of some future reviews too. Uh, this watch, some of you may be surprised to see, although I did preview it in my last video. Uh, also a keeper, Garmin Instinct 2, the GPS fitness running watch. Um Absolutely love this watch. Highly recommend it. Eventually, I may get around to doing a video on it. Um, and I don't not even I wear it not even just for running. It's kind of become like my go to beater digital watch. Um, if I'm not wearing the modded uh, Casio Royale, um, I think I've joked around with some people before that it's basically my favorite G Shock, and it's not a G Shock because it sort of fits that whole role for me, and it has all the features I wanted out of a G Shock, but they never did. So G-Shock has just released their fitness tracker today. The, oh, did the, they? The new version of the Move. It looks pretty okay. cool. I actually have the old version, and you'll see that at some point. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons I say this does what the older one didn't do. I think the newer, wait, the, the newer one's supposed to be much better. Much I think better it, than the old actually, one. I do remember seeing something. I think it might actually be Android-based, which would help I'm a lot. Sure. They ditched uh, the app and they've tried to fix the heartbeat lot. sensor thing because I guess yeah. that didn't work very well. It's part of I'm my issue is to buy one there. If it's the same size, well, I'll talk about it when we show, get to it. Um, it'll eventually show up somewhere. All right. So question for you guys, do you want to go with maybe what's I call like my primary watch box, which is going to be more keepers or do you want to see random stuff? So just to clarify, we're doing kind of a, a state of your collection, but yeah. we're also trying to clean out some stuff. Yeah, or at least categorize it. Categorize it. Like I say, think we this need is... to go randos then. If that's random, all right, we'll do the ran- yeah. one random box now. One thought we could do at some point is you could show us like maybe three or four that are on the chopping block, and we could uh, we could pick one that's out and one to keep. Maybe throw that yeah. over the chat too. There, are, there are some that yeah. I'm really conflicted on already that i yeah, know like try and help you out with the uh the uh yeah or the put out decision. put out three watches one you definitely want to keep and two you're not sure of and we'll try to guess which one yeah. you got to keep <laughs> random here box we go. okay here we go um so there's some good stuff here some um, not good stuff here first up Riser Resolute, the original Riser Resolute. Um, this one, I love it. It's great. But I'm thinking now that I have the GMT, that's mm-hmm. kind of pretty similar. Yeah. After, I don't know how long I've had this, three years. I think I might actually sell the original Resolute now. Uh, next up, the Orient Star 1964, which I reviewed. If I can get it in camera. This one is up for sale or will be. The only thing that might hold me back temporarily is going to be whether I want to do another comparison video with it or a comparison video with it. Do like uh, the Orient Star Diver versus the 1964 or my Glacier Seiko versus it. 
if I don't, then it's probably gets up for sale soon. A little bit better. Yeah, that one, I you know, I, that one never clicked with me. I watched you do the review yeah. of it, but yeah, I just couldn't see why they were asking that price for it. Yeah, and it's, I mean, I kind of understand, but because it's, it's, it's at least what I'm seeing from Seiko at that price level, but at the same time, it's just not doing it for me. Yeah, and, that well, I mean, yeah, and the whole thing with Orient yeah. is they were supposed to be cheaper than Seiko, right? Yeah, and well, in terms of black go. divers, I like this will be my new black black diver, and I love this kind of anthracite sort of gray fume gradient that they got going on with it. Yeah, that is cool. All right, so next up, the San Martin 62 Moss Chronograph. Um, I actually like this one a lot. I think this one's still a keeper, or at least a channel watch keep around because it's so different and kind of right. shows that what San Martin can do if they want to do something original. Um. And it might be like the one kind of seagull mechanical chronograph I keep around. Because um, so far, I haven't been overly impressed. I mean, they're good, but they've never really resonated with me, a lot of the ones I've seen. And the crazy Zelos, which is their Abyss 3, the 3,000 meter bronze diver. <laughs> this one, it is thick, it's as thick yeah. as you can get. But 3,000 meters ever, of water resistance. Have you ever worn it outside of the first day when you had to try oh, to yeah. get for it? Oh, yeah. I have worn it. Um, I haven't dove in a while, but like pre-pandemic, before it kicked off, we were planning some vacations, and I was going to bring it with me just because. Just it's, it's so overkill for what you need for that. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure what I want to do with this one. It, it's so crazy, I kind of want to keep it. But again, one of the things I might need from you guys, as well as you guys commenting, is um, I have too many divers. I can't keep every diver. It's just, yeah. So, one to think about. What do you <clears throat> think the ratio of, of watches that you've been given by, by oh, divers? Brian? Oh, mostly divers. divers. Yeah. Maybe 70% 70, 70 divers? Probably, yeah. Definitely. And this one's another one I'm conflicted with, and some people may hate hearing that. That's the Orient Kamasu. And I have it on the really cool strap code funky bracelet. Let me move that down. I think that was your watch of the year once. About At one point, four, yeah. Four or five years ago. I'm conflicted on this one because I do love it. Uh, but I just haven't worn it recently. I, I, like I said, I have so many other divers. So it's kind of this one thing like... Do I keep it? Do I not keep it? It's also, I have a couple other red dial watches I also really like. So it's, I want to keep at least one of those. So just, this is just one I'm just not sure on. And I almost feel like I should keep it in the channel, like as a channel watch, just because it is probably one of the best affordable entry level name brand divers out there. Um, and one of my concerns, I think, as like a reviewer is, if you start moving up, you start to lose focus on what it is that where you started, and you should probably have some examples around to remind you. At least that's my concern about that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Aubrey Smith is saying get, get that it back. back and, yeah, yeah. I, in some of these that I am thinking about, like selling, I probably should at least give it one more chance to wear if I haven't worn it for a while. Rob G is wondering who makes that watch box. Um, random one on Amazon. Yeah, which is what you have fine too. Then unfortunately, you'll see a couple others like this. And unfortunately, they stopped making this version. And they make one of my other ones almost identical, except it has non-leather pillows, and they're not as good. So you said you got a lot of divers, Shane. Why don't we get all the divers out and check start like maybe we can look at it by category? I'm not sure I have room on the desk. For okay. the <laughs> I thought it'd be better to go by watch box. Yeah, Otherwise, I'm just gonna box, like box. Yeah. Because I can put them back. All right. So this is another red dial watch. Uh, okay. This is That's definitely technically a diver, right? Kind of? Kind of. Kind of. Kind of a diver. Um, this is the Ikagi. What was this? Um, Kaizen. Ikagi Kaizen. Uh, a prototype. Their Kickstarter didn't make it. Their recent watch, the uh, Maiko, Maiko? Um is in production, I think, now. That should be coming out. This is one that was almost too weird to make it. Um, and for me, 
the prototypes that I have, the rare stuff, that's definitely getting keep um, kept, even if it's sort of as a channel watch. And I say channel watch, sometimes that's going to be an excuse just to keep stuff around. Is that is that the Ikigai Kazan? Yeah, Kaizen. Kaizen or Kazan? Uh, well, you're in Japan. You probably know better. Than I, yeah, I am probably also... butchering it. It's K A Z A N, right? Yeah. 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 yeah it's Ikigai Kazan. Kazan. It's, it's, right. it's it's weird. It lights up. It looks really cool. But... Yeah, I like the uh, I originality like there. I don't know how I would like it actually trying to use it daily. Uh, it's yeah it's it's a little yeah. difficult i like the idea but i i also like legibility yeah this is another one i need to get the review out soon oh, that's, um, is that a brew or... brew metric okay bought this um actually when i was on at running at the gym uh, a friend of mine who's also a viewer kind of sent me a message while i was running saying like hey because these things are almost never in stock and they just got to restock and he's like hey you got to jump on it <laughs> so i did um, it's really cool. Um, they actually just released a gold version. I don't know if you guys have seen that. And is I almost, a is it... yeah, it's a chronograph. I came close to buying the gold version. It's just yeah. a little small for me. Yeah. I almost bought the gold one to replace it. Cause it just looks so sharp. Hi Island. Yeah. Cause you hit the button. Yeah. It's a, it's a mecha quartz. Okay. Yeah. I haven't seen that layout. Did they, yeah. did they cover up like the three o'clock dial or something? Is there I, something so, that's just, well, the date is, oh, it does have the four thirty date. The dates down there. So I think that everything just got shifted and rotated. I wonder if there was like, was there like a 24 hour sub dial that they just totally just said, we're not going to use it, which I would yeah. love them for that. If they did that, that would be awesome. There's a couple of cool things. I do like what brews do in here. Like, their logo, you can kind of see it right on the side. It's just so kind of nondescript, so subtle. Like they're not trying to I really be it. it. Okay. And then the edges are polished, like underneath the crystal, um, to kind oh, of give wow. it that polished bezel look. Yeah. It, it's kind of clean, a little weird, but that also keeps the fingerprints off of it, which is awesome. Yeah, and that kind and of asymmetric. Yeah, I've never. I yeah. you, you don't see sub dial layouts at what is that at nine and six yeah. like that. Yeah, and a really cool bracelet. Yeah, if they ever come back in stock and you want a really cool, interesting chronograph, they're one to check out. I've always been looking for a good kind of yeah. squarish watch, too, so I really like that. Yeah, although the, the computer geek in me really likes yeah. their retro like 8-bit looking, like kind of 8-bit Pac-Man stuff. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. Let's go back out just a little bit. Um, and then oldie, but a goodie, and probably one I'm thinking I'd wind up selling. Swiss watch company, Diver. <laughs> so the first Gen, the gen Yeah, Gen that. 1. Awesome yeah. lumen, it little big, right. um, and part of that, I don't know about you, Dave, but like or Alton, uh, as my tastes and watches have gotten smaller over the years. Mm -hmm. Like I remember originally, I was like forty to forty-two is ideal for me, and now it's almost like thirty-eight to forty, maybe forty-one mm -hmm. if the case shape is right. Yeah, and this absolutely. is absolutely forty-three-ish. Yeah, that's a big watch. It's heavy yeah. too. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really so well made. made. I love the yeah. bracelet and the finishing, but it is yeah. a big watch. I think I get sent larger watches sometimes because I one of the bigger wrists out of the YouTube. Ah, uh -huh, there you go. <laughs> but I actually prefer forty millimeters. So, you know, there. You go. Focus. There you go. Uh, Mario nineteen eighteen trench watch. Awesome watch. Definitely a keeper. It's a good um, one. Yeah. Although I have a lot of Varios, and I probably shouldn't keep every Vario. Um, but this is definitely one I want to keep, especially because it's a field watch. Shane, you have a collection conundrum because <laughs> you have had a good reason to keep every one of these. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Yeah, I, this is this is so this is not your keeper box. Yeah. This is just Do you have a <laughs> this pile? is a random box? Uh, not yet. A pile of not ones yet. That... Yeah. Okay. And we may need to get to that point where I need to do a second look and get into that. Um, well, here's one I will be selling. Um, it's the Vesuviet okay. GMT, NH34 based GMT that just came out or came out a couple months ago. Um, Green Dow, really cool watch. Um, again, though, I have a lot of divers and I'm going to have a, I have a lot of GMTs and I'm assuming over the next year I'll probably get more GMTs. Yeah. That's kind so, of a cool gradient though from uh, yeah. top to bottom instead of a center one. And I should say too, um, 
if any of the brand owners wind up watching this or any of you guys at home have these watches that I'm talking about, like, oh, I'm going to sell it. Don't be offended by it at all. If I've kept it this long, that means I like it. And if I'm showing it off, it means I like it. It's just I can't keep everything. Oh, hey, Peter's on here. Hey, hey Peter. Peter. Good to see you. Good Michael Hagris, good to see you here. Thrilled mm -hmm. you're here, too. Well, we had a conversation in Dave's one of his videos in the chat in the, the comments a couple months ago about a guy who said you shouldn't be selling your watches that you've reviewed it made him feel like it was wrong somehow. Oh, that's called that Dave. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, I, I think I, I felt that way when I first started reviewing watches, but uh, yeah. kind of, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, you, you, you just, yeah, you can't, you can't have, you can't keep them all. Yeah. Um, Where are you going to put them? Yeah. And the thing too is just like they say, there's no free lunch. There's no free watch. Um, right. After this for so many years, I, I will say that flat out. Cause not only do you, do you take the time to make the videos, um, at least in the U S like if I'm marking this YouTube as a promotional video, uh, uncle Sam considers it as income and he wants right. yeah. his cut that I got to pay him. Yeah. So yep. I'm, I mean, I'm, in some ways, I always consider free watches now as discounted watches. Because right. If anyone watching gets a chance, go check out my latest video on Half Pass blog because I'll break down for you how rich I'm getting off of my YouTube yeah. channel. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And yeah, people want like a lot of giveaways and stuff. But even that, it's like, you know, for me, it's cost like 30 bucks to ship now. So mm -hmm. it's like every time. Yeah. And I mean, I'm sure there are some guys out there who are trying or making a good amount who are are not putting into I'm not going to call anybody out here, but who aren't they're not putting in the amount of hours we do into the videos and they're cranking stuff out one, two a day and they're just selling them. As, I mean, there's again, I'm not going to call anybody out, but I've seen some reviewers who are posting watches for sale before the reviews even go live. And to me, that's just tacky. But yeah. That's no, no, no comment. Yeah. You can post your guesses in the uh, comment section, folks. <laughs> well, a few people do that. Anyway, so uh, let's get back to this. The Escapement Time Flieger, the original Escapement Time okay. Flieger, not the, the new one that's been. One? Yeah, not the neutered one, the one with the cool blued hands. Um, keeping this, well, I was going to say, this is probably one of the best Fliegers out there, but one of the reasons I was holding on to it for so long is because I was wanting to compare it to, say, some Lockouts or some other watches out there. But since Escapement Time is no longer making it, I don't really see much of a reason to keep it. So I think I probably will sell this one and eventually get like a nice Lockout, even though this is probably just about as good. So. Um, here's some random Proxima. Um, can't remember. This is one that's sort of based on an old Seiko. I this like one, that vintage case. That's cool. It's really cool. Um, I actually have somebody who's already asked me if I was willing to sell it, so I'm in conversation with them about it. So if they're watching, yeah. NCH. This is one I have bought to do a review of. I bought it. Um, I usually don't talk to NTH directly. No comment on that. Um, but actually got this off watch watch gang i'm off the wheel of watches okay i just, yeah, I just have yeah, not got around to it i really right. need to and after i do review it i will sell it um it, it's cool though it, it is kind of cool nth does make some really cool watches yeah i like the uh how they put the the numerals inside the yeah big indexes that's kind of unique yeah. uh another phoebus this is probably one of the cooler phoebuses out there Okay, yeah, that's a cool one. Yeah, I think this is one I'll probably keep just because it's so different. I like the brush dial. The old school radium loom, not a big fan of because it's not that great, but it's smaller. It's really comfortable. And I can't remember if it's an NH35 or if it's a 9015. It's interesting how they did the triangles uh, pointing out on the yeah. three and nine there. Sandwiched dial. Yeah. Um, this is like the, yeah. <laughs> this is one I'm not sure what to do with. Oh, hey! Yeah, my watch club. Um, uh, does it have a custom rotor on the back? 
Yeah, uh, not this one. Like the other one I did for them, does it too? It's. Does anyone actually want to buy a watch that I made? <laughs> I guess it's like I like it. Yeah, I haven't been wearing it much. Yeah, but maybe do, it's. Uh, yeah. Am I willing to sell a watch to somebody I haven't made? Diehard fans. Yeah. No warranty. No guarantees. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's working. Water resistance hasn't been yeah. tested. Yeah. But it is cool. But the other thing too is like I have so many other GMTs. I don't really need other GMT, but like this, it's and modded watches. It's like, what do you do with modded watches? Even if you're not wearing them, you know, it's, it's kind of weird to sell them. So Neff, the red Kamasu is not an uh like a, a guaranteed keeper. He's a little on the fence on that. I'm one, on the so. fence on the Kamasu, yeah. yeah. It's back there just because uh, I don't know. I I, I should keep I like the idea of keeping some entry level kind of divers and it's like the perfect example of the best one out there right now, but I just have so many divers. I'm kind of on the fence yeah, on it. It looks I, like the chat wants you to keep it. Everybody yeah. says keep it. I think I'll, I'll wear it this week or next week and kind of give it, especially cause I love the bracelet I put on it. The aftermarket strap code. It's, it's so funky. I love it. But Panos we'll Thomas is wondering where you keep all your watch boxes. Uh, a couple different spots. Um, have you said how many boxes you have? Uh, so two of these that are 20 slot boxes. I have 124. That's my primary watch box. And then I got a couple small things. Okay. There. So I'm not sure if I should really say this. It's like giving somebody a map to go steal from my house. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like my primary one is kind of in my closet. Um, and then I have an extra bedroom. This is kind of my office where I do other stuff here. But I have an extra bedroom that I've sort of converted into like the studio room, and I have some stuff there. Yeah, they're all stored right by your many guns, right? So well, if this is comes, Texas. Yeah. Part of me while I take notes. Don't bust yeah. into Shane's house. <laughs> um, this is one I think I will be selling. I've had it for a bit now. It's 94 watches. I can't remember the actual model name of it. It's just, oh, it's kind of a cool. One? Yeah, it's an NH35 based. One of the reasons I kept it for so long is the guy's based out of Wisconsin, and I lived there for three years. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's a cool kind of yeah, integrated they bracelet kind of, watch. They kind of jumped on that integrated bracelet thing. They were a little bit ahead of yeah, the curve. Yeah, they were. And so then, many other uh, people have jumped on it now. Yeah, now it's like everywhere. Review of this one. This fun little one's coming out. Uh, <laughs> Alton might recognize it. Uh, Mickey. Mickey. That's Actually, right. Let me, let me That's right. It. Saw that one down at Disney. Yeah. I actually originally saw this on my last cruise as I thought it, it's one of the coolest Mickey watches I've seen just because of the way they integrated the small seconds as the propeller of the plane. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, cool. And that nine is all yeah. walking in the seven. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's a cool one. It was just way yeah. overpriced at Disney. Oh yeah. It was overpriced on the cruise ship, but black Friday, um, Amazon had it on a pretty good sale. Oh, okay. So you didn't get it on the cruise ship. No, no. I've only bought one watch on a cruise ship and I don't recommend it. <laughs> and that was an Invicta a long time ago. <laughs> they, they, I think the last time I was looking, I actually was looking at a few other watches and, and I'm pretty knowledgeable nowadays on what prices are. And I was like, no, that's way too high. I know. It was like 50% off the retail price yeah, instead of 90% yeah, yeah. off. This one, I'm on the fence about put it this way. I have another Mickey watch. I'm only going to keep one Mickey watch. So it's either going to be this one or the other one we'll get to eventually. I, I try and make a rule to only keep one watch from each micro brand. Yeah, I'd like that too. Um, try to pare it down a little bit. For me with my channel, one of the things that if I could like my goal, so I guess you could say with my channel or not my channel, just my collection would be to have like one watch that's representative of the brand. And yeah. maybe kind of a cool different watch. And like my the Zodiac Olympus, I think, is a great example of that. I think it's just a cool, funky watch that's yeah. like representative of Zodiac. And if I could do that with every brand, I'd be good. Wait, so, so you clarify, you're saying one watch per brand or two watches per brand? Well, I at least one watch. Because with Seiko, yeah, can, can, and you only have one Seiko. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, no. I said with micro brands, I try with, with micro brands. Micro brand I really like yeah. if I'm like super into it, but yeah. generally I think like one per micro brand. Yeah. Like Vario. <laughs> I've become yeah, I'd say internet sort of friends with, with Ivan. Ivan's a great guy. It's like Ivan's I don't really cool. want to, I kind of want to keep most of the Varios just because my I've got a good relation with Ivan. Right. Uh, this is one again, I think it was a watch gang watch. I haven't worn it much. Come on, focus. Another Zodiac, um, but it's like a chronograph, quartz chronograph. Um, a little big, 
I've worn it a couple times, but I think this is one that I bought, never got around to reviewing. So it's kind of this question of would I should I hold on to it to try to kick out a video? Is there still interest in it? Or should I just sell it right off the bat? And that's something I gotta think about with some of these. Arakel's asking if any of us would buy a yeah. smartwatch. Well, back to the you got, you got that's Garmin. Garmin is, is that technically a smartwatch? Fitness I call watch? it a fitness it's watch, not a smartwatch. Um, does it give you phone notifications? It can. I turned them off. Okay. To save battery power. I have no interest in that. Um, like but to, I like the GPS. Does it have like a screen where the messages can you can read the messages on it? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's but it's not touch like screen. Smartwatch. It has smartwatch features, yeah. but unlike most smartwatches, like you don't have to plug it in every day. This is a 28 day battery. Yeah. Um, and it's solar powered, so it extends it out. I used to have a Pebble smartwatch, which was like mm -hmm. the one of the really early smartwatches. And that's kind of what got me into watch collecting. Like I started wearing a watch because of yeah. that. But I, I, ever since I switched back to traditional watches, I haven't ever gone back to a smartwatch. And I'd be tempted to get an Apple watch just to review it because that's yeah. like, you know, that's the, the biggest watch right now. Yeah. I've thought about buying one for my wife or like my father-in-law, but you got to remember to charge it like what, at least once. I don't think you can get more than a day, maybe two days max nowadays off it. Um, cause I did have another fitness watch before this Garmin and I'd have to charge it once a week. It was a touch screen. So it was a little bit more smart watchy. Um, but I love that this one is, yeah, it has this pretty extended battery. Come on, focus. Yeah, so that's nice. that's maybe once a month, every three weeks, if I'm actually actively training, cause I did run the Disney half marathon with it. Uh, the new G shock move is actually solar. Yeah. You can charge one was too. Was it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, come on, focus. So another San Martin. This is sort of their dressy turtle I reviewed a while ago. Um, cool cool watch. Really good bracelet. Nice white dial. I think I'm going to sell it. It's just, just not really... I got enough other sort of watches that fit that category. That style just doesn't do anything for me at all. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I kind of like what they were going for, but I don't know if it quite works. They succeeded, yeah. Um, this funky one, no idea what I want to do with this one. <laughs> is that another Proxima? The, oh, no, the Proxima. Phoebus. Uh, yeah. This is the Phoebus Vortex they kicked out near the end of the year. It's sort of the spiritual successor to the Great Wall um, because it's got a Salita movement in it. It's got some really great loom in it, but it's just this oversized funky. Um, and as I said, I've been wearing more smaller watches, and although I might keep it, I don't know. Yeah. It kind of looks like it's going a little bit in the Invicta uh, design philosophy Order. territory. Because yeah. the thing is, they are re-releasing a new version of the Great Wall, but they've kind of, I think, gone back to a 9015, because the old one actually had an Eta movement. That was back when you could get Eta movement. Um, but it, it's got some coolness to it, but it's also a little hard to read. It's not. It's more of a form, not necessarily function kind of watch. Okay, before you get those out, how about you yeah. have me and Alden go sell or keep on each one of those? <laughs> All right. Zoom back. Alden, you go, Alden, you go first. Let's do it. Yeah. I think it's upside sell. down. All right. <laughs> All right, start with her. The 9 4 integrated bracelet. Sell. So, yeah. I'd, I'd keep that one. You would? Yeah. But that's tough, yeah. Mickey, keep for now. I'd Wait till you see the other Mickey watch to yeah, sell right? between the two. The other one's a Shinola, <laughs> but it's got sapphire. Yeah, uh, Zodiac, sell. Yeah, I'd sell that one. Sell, sell, Alton, sell the Phoebus, funky Phoebus. Sell, well, so. yeah, DIY watch club. I don't think I'd actually sell it because I don't want to, right? I don't trust my own work enough. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know what. Give me yeah, like, to uh, an yeah, alternate cool perspective, that. though, you might have some fan out there who's got their bedroom plastered with your posters, and uh, you know, really yeah, or it could be good, could be a good giveaway. Watch. And they'd be like, it could be the ultimate collectible from your yeah. favorite YouTuber. You never know. Yeah, yeah. the other Phoebus. Made by him. I keep that one. Yeah. I like that one. I'd sell it because I'm not a big fan of green. Okay. Yeah, the uh, NTH. You said you got a ton of divers. I'd sell yeah. it. Yeah, I'd sell it. It's probably got better divers. Yeah. 
the Proxima. Uh, I like that one. You like that's that kind one? of a fun one. I might. I mean, yeah, yeah. Out of this box, I'd keep it. Yeah. But Peter says, get the DIY water tester. Well, what's the DIY yeah, right. water tester? <laughs> Throw it in the pool, see if it leaks. I'd sell it. And then the uh, escapement time flieger. Do you have any other like fliegers like that? Uh, I got a couple yeah. lockout. Not like this, but I have thought about buying exactly. like a nicer lockout at some point. I might keep it for now and we'll see. Yeah. It, it, from this box, looking at what I've seen so far, I'd keep it out of this box. Yeah. So but yeah, if you have other that figures. And Mickey. That, mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, I forgot. I have a tray of watches here that were just off screen. Show you some oh. of these. Most of these are keepers. Uh, the reason this is on a tray is because I was running an experiment. I see a lot of that I may. There. Yeah, that's this is what... why. Uh, I was running an experiment with these that I may talk about in another video. Is that a Hex Mariner? Yeah, the Hex Mariner. So well, I'll talk a little bit about the experiment is that I've heard people say like the 6R movements are crap, that they have issues. So I was just wanting to use my time grapher. I happen to have three 6R 35s with me right now. Um, so I decided, let me test them out in the time grapher and see what happens. And then some NH 35s as sort of a baseline. I may, I may show it in a video in the future if the data actually makes sense and I sound like I know what I'm talking about since I'm not an expert on this stuff. But, but let me just show the watches anyways. Uh, Glacier Seiko, that's definitely a keeper. Yeah, that dot. Yeah, every time I all see the Seiko divers, shell, I'm like, yeah. it doesn't really do it for me. And then anytime I see a video of them, I'm like, dang, that is cool. Yeah, and there is a new version. Um, with their new, I don't know if you guys saw this announced the last couple of days, a 6R based GMT with like a 70 hour power reserve. And one of them looks exactly like that, but I'm, I'm keeping this over that. So they're making a 6R version of the GMT movement now. Yeah. It's coming it soon. Out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, or if it's out, it's coming out soon. Yeah. One of the two. Uh, the Alpinist, my ghost Alpinist, white Alpinist. This one, honestly, I'm kind of mixed on right now. Is uh, that I might need to wear it. Gold indices or the white, white, white okay. and silver. Um, because I haven't really been wearing it, but then again, I don't know. It's because the thing is, this was maybe one of my first sort of grail watches. I obsessed mm-hmm. over the Alpinist for so long, especially when they discontinued yeah. them. Maybe mm-hmm. it's just I need to give this one another chance Reese, in the next week or so and kind of see. I love the dials on those, but they wear a little chunky, which for a field watch never really resonated yeah. with me. This one is probably not a keeper. I'll sell this after I get the review done. It's one of the new Slim Turtles. Yeah, that's what they're really calling nice. them. Yeah. White dial, but it's what is this like? I think they're 40 millimeter or 41. Um, if anybody in the channel knows what the new slim turtle sizes are, they're yeah, slimmer turtles as the name suggests. But the weird mm-hmm. thing is, they already had the mini turtles, and this is a slightly different case shape than that. I call them expensive turtles, that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is about the same price those, range those as the, the expensive. Turtles, how how did that happen that a $300 turtle now is selling for 1400 bucks? Yeah, it's even more expensive than this with the king turtles. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, then, I mean, which is a shame because I like the uh, the form factor yeah. a lot better. The Antarctica monster, the penguin. That's a, so that's a great one. I want to keep it. Um, I'll talk maybe a little bit more when I get to my other turtle. That's actually been in almost every single video I've made. I'm thinking of selling that one because I've used that one as like my baseline for Seiko Loom, and this one is just about as good. And I haven't really worn that much, so I might sell that one just to keep this one. Um, even though I'm gonna probably wear that one more than I wear this one, but I just love the whole penguin feed of it. I, I love that fourth gen monster. Such a nice, really yeah. great one. And this is a the strap. The bracelet sucks, and this is a kind of a Barton hybrid strap that I really love. Makes it so flexible, lightweight, and still kind of water resistant. And movimiento, welcome. And movie. Good to see you. Hey, how's it going? And the dress KX, the one I've had forever on the strap code Jubilee bracelet. Just to catch you guys up on what's going on, we're helping Shane pare down his watch collection from 80 watches down to 75. Yeah. I'm I haven't worn this much. But at the same time, it's yeah, I know it's one of those things like maybe I'm a hoarder. 
but <laughs> maybe it should be a channel watch. That's what, as I said, I'm using channel watch as an excuse sometimes. It should be one that I should keep around just as a reference for a great Seiko. Is that is that an Uncle Uncle Seiko or Uncle Strap, uh, strap Code? Strap Uncle Seikos right. are good too. But that's one maybe I'll just I'll think about. But it's kind of on there. Yeah, I just picked up one of those, and I'm still in the honeymoon phase with it. I really yeah. like it. It's it's so much better than the regular 5KX. Yeah, yeah. I think I think for watches, yeah, under like three hundred dollars, that's like got to be top five, easy. The Revolot Hex Mariner. It's a cool one. Cool with the meteorite. Yeah. This is the only meteorite dial I have, um, so I kind of want to keep it for that. And it's a great size factor. I think this is a 39 millimeter version. But again, I have so many divers, so I think in the end I might wind up selling it. But what do you guys think about the Hex Mariner? Should I keep it or? I mean, I I like it. I like the I like that it's a twist yeah. on the submariner. It's definitely different. I like the meteorite dial. Again, I I it would I think I'd have a hard time if you've got that many divers. Mm. But then if it's the only meteorite dial, I I'd like to keep one meteorite dial in the collection. Yeah. I've got one. I really like it. I would uh, just have a hard time looking at my watch box, seeing the Oris there and seeing that there and not picking up the Oris. Yeah. I, I think they're I think they're different enough that, you know, if you were in the mood for something different, you can go with it. All right. Let's get the the bigger watch box out. Oh, okay. Here we go. Now it's getting real. I'm not sure if this will actually fit oh boy. on the screen. I sound like an earthquake. It's a 24 slot watch box. That's I need to clean the top. <laughs> All right. Let's zoom in just a little bit. All right. So let's start here. The Zelos. Um, actually, the name is escaping me now. It was their dress. Not the Comet. The Comet was their last mechanical. It's the one that's a straight mechanical. Does anybody know this? I should know uh, this. I, yeah. I, I think you had on one too. One. Or you I didn't get one. I got the comet. I didn't yeah. get one of those. That one looked cool. Though. What was it? I forget. Let me, uh, let me pull yeah. it up. Sorry. Sorry, Elshan. Um, cool watch. Really thin. Mechanical. Don't oh, Nova. Any. Okay, yeah. Ted Nova. Def, Def knows it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Um, But I don't wear it very often, so I should probably sell it. I don't know. What do you... Well, let's go through it and then I'll ask. Yeah, you let's go through. We'll do. We'll give you your buy sell recommendations at the end. All right. This is definitely keeper. One of my favorite Orient Stars. The I call it the Cheshire. Yeah, that's or it's a cool the Orient one. Star Standard. Classy. It's I wear it as a dress watch, but I remember in the review, some people are like, "No, that's more of a sports watch, just because of the bracelet and the brush signs." But I I love this watch. I wear it at least. Well, Sundays when I go to church, I'm usually wearing this one. So, so that's kind of your main dress watch. I think so. Um, Orion Hellcat. Only Orion I have. Really cool red burgundy dial. Now, I awesome absolutely bracelet. love this watch. That, yeah. to me, would be an absolute keeper. I think so. And that would be one of the reasons I'd like to sell the Orient Kamasu is because of this red dial. Um, uh, yeah. And it sort of also has a similar form factor or as the dress KX. Yeah, I've been drawn more towards uh, watches with Arabic numerals like that recently. So yeah, yeah. like that Vario, that Vario Emperor, uh, definitely keeper. This is my favorite. Is that Vario the manual still. wound one or no, automatic? Automatic. Yeah, I love the Empire. Um, just the way the detail work on the dial. Yeah, just the style. Yeah, it, really, it's so really cool. Knocked out of the park on that one. This is I their new. Couldn't help but get a Star Wars reference when you said you love the Empire. Yeah. <laughs> Their new was this the Versa, the flippy watch. Okay. Uh, review of this is coming. Yeah, I you know, that one. That one's cool. Yeah, Ivan sent it to me. Uh -huh. um, I was planning to do a review at the end of this January, I think, somewhere mid January. Yeah. But right as I was about to record myself talking, I looked and noticed they were all sold out. So I kind of asked him, like, do you, do you want me to put it out or do you want me to wait till you actually get some restocks in? Mm. Um, so it's yeah. going to come out maybe a couple weeks before he actually gets more in. So I'm that, hoping he makes an XL version of that because I yeah. just couldn't pull off that size, but it's, it's so cool. It's so thick, but it's so cool and unique. But it's My, not, right? It's only like 
12 millimeters or something? I get Well, for a dress watch, it's a little thick. Right. Yeah. I mean, so it, I think it looks thick proportionally because of yeah. this, the small square. Yeah. But like the actual, yes, yeah, so I think a larger case, you yeah. know, the thickness wouldn't be It as would bad. look thinner. Yeah. 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 My only issue, I'll give you a little preview, yeah, is... It looks really thick. The green dial, I'm not a big fan. I mean, it's, it's, it's cool, but I love the white with the blue so much more that I don't know if I'd ever uh, actually use the green it, yeah. dial. I'd be using this one like 90% of the time. Oh, well, if you use it for different time zones, right? You can set it to yeah. different time zones. They're, they're two different quartz movements, so yeah. you can do that. The only thing that's so like the, the when they got it flipped upside down, you got the other end is just the crystals just pressed right up against your wrist, right? Yeah. So that's going to make like, you know, when you flip it, you got to clean Smudges. it too, probably. Yeah. 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 And you got to give Ivan or Vario credit. I mean, he just yeah, makes so many no. creative things. Yeah, he does. He's never made a diver. It's just all random. Yeah. Like the Popeye no, watch. Yeah. Just like, every like, every watch he does has so much thought behind it. And he just, yeah, ex- yeah, every detail's great. Notice duality. Never did a review on this one. But it's, I have a love-hate relationship. Well, maybe not. I don't want to go that far. I Times I love the watch, but at the same time, there were some things I was disappointed with the watch. Um, one of the better super compressor style watches out there. It's got such an interesting dial where it's sandwiched, but there's still sort of like applied indices around the sandwich. Oh, really? So those um, outlines are kind of built up a little bit? Yeah. And it's, you know, dual time, dual crown. One problem, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. The crown right there, there's a little, these are sapphire coated on the outside. There's a chip out of it. Uh, my dog did that. <laughs> I don't know how, but that's one one way to say having sapphire on your crown may not be a great idea because something might happen to it. Um, but I think I can get that easily fixed. I think long run I'll probably sell it. I just haven't been wearing it, wearing it. Um, but it's really cool. So yeah, I I have one notice that I reviewed. I was really impressed with yeah with the watch. I think they're another one. I think they just really get the, all the details right when they do it. Yeah, the Orient Star Diver. Love this watch, even though it's a bit big. Oh, um, Michael Collins is trying to start a fight here. Here we go. What, what do you say? Real question. Why all these cheap watches? Maybe get rid of five or six of them. Buy a good watch that you can keep. It's like the the age-old question. You know, Do you want that a is, lot of inexpensive ones? Or yeah, you that's the big. Buy a luxury watch. Yeah. It, it's, well, he wanted to get rid of 40 of them, Michael, just uh, for some context. It might get there. <laughs> so far, we got three. Well, I mean, one of the reasons I kind of got yeah. that. Uh, yeah, Morris. it looks like Shane's kind of going the best of both worlds here. Have yeah. a lot of cheap watches and good yeah. watches. Just, you know, just have it, it all, it's, right? It's journey, not a destination for me. Yeah, That's yeah. one thing I've said multiple times. Um, I think my general policy is I don't sell the Kings of Loom. This is one of the best looms I've ever seen. It should stick around that, just for that's that. That's fair. Yeah, that's a good criteria. And it's the only Pepsi I have. Um, maybe someday I'll sell it, but... For now, no. No, I like that one. I like that one a lot better than the uh, the other Orient Diver Star Diver you yeah. pulled out earlier. Glycine Airman, one of the first yeah. GMTs I ever bought. Honest, I have not worn this in a while. I still love it. I I'm actually saving this. Um, my nephew is uh, in school to be a commercial airline pilot. I think when he graduates, I'm gonna oh cool, to watch. nice. So. Yeah, I like that one. I, I've yeah. wanted to get an Airman for a while. It's a classic it's a very cool watch. Yeah. And the prices, was, they're so much higher now than when yeah, I bought this. Yeah, yeah, I kind of missed it. Now it's I can't quite can't quite bring myself to do it. But yeah, I I want a purist if I want to get one. Yeah. All right. This one is a keeper, at least as far as I'm concerned. Long jeans VHP GMT. Um yeah, that's a cool one too. Just because I've always wanted a conquest. So this is kind of a conquest, but it is a conquest, even though it's crappy water resistance. I think it's like 30 meters. Um, oh, that's weird. Is yeah. that a perpetual calendar as well as it's everything? <laughs> it's it's VHP, so it's high precision quartz. Um, if there's a little hole in the twelve, it's kind of hard to see in the camera here. But they have this funky app that flashes the flashier oh, camera. So it's, like tele- it's like old school sensor. stuff, yeah. Okay. Um, and you can actually it's set stuff in there through that. There you can do it manually too. Like with a mirror? Uh, no, I mean just through the crown, you can do it. Okay. Uh, the thing is, it's kind of cool because it's also it's both a collars GMT and a tr- traveler's GMT in one. 
So it just sort of depends. And it's so accurate. Um, I've, I think I set this maybe two years ago and it's still within a second. Wow. So it's just so doing, it's doing a pretty good job of hitting those markers too. The problem Second, secondhand is nailing. Yeah. I think these haven't sold well. That's why I kind of found a good deal on this a while ago. Um, I think they're actually phasing it out. So that app may no longer be usable in a while, but I still think it's a cool watch. It's it's actually not bad wearing it. I think Von Cruel asked if the crown guards got in the way. Um, I have never really had a problem with it. It is a little on the bigger side. I think it's a 41. Yeah, it does look like a big crown there. It's it's very solid, very pronounced, but it's a really cool GMT. It's just that 30 meters of water resistance is, is just stupid. All right, this one is not going anywhere. Um, the Cora Wayfair. Okay. Another prototype. Yeah, I'm sure I was asking about prototypes. There's one yeah. for you. Another prototype. I actually, I wasn't given this. I bought it because I liked it so much. Um, as I was all set to get it on the Kickstarter, and when he, the owner canceled it, I said, hey, you know, do you have any for sale? Um, it's, and this might be another reason I would sell the Alpinus because it's sort of a version of the Alpinus because it's got internal compass bezel. Oh, yeah. Okay. Really just cool dial. It has, you know, interesting bracelet. Um, yeah, it's just, it was one I just immediately fell in love with, and it's rare out there. Um, I think, as far as I knew, the only, there may be a dozen or so out in the wild of the prototypes the guy made and sold. And I knew Jody had one, and I knew uh, one of the other reviewers, I think Mike Rosowski or something, had one. It's a pretty um, exclusive club there. Yeah. But really cool watch. Did they ever make another watch, or he kind of just gave up after he, that? He just kind of gave up, as far as I know. I've t I talked to him a few times. He showed me off a couple designs, but I never heard from him again. Um, and then the con most controversial watch I have, uh, the Genoa Ocean Rover. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, yeah, if some of you guys remember this, there is the... I, I do find it very ironic, maybe, that everybody's fawning over the new... Uh, what is it called? Their new one, Silent Service. Um, I've seen a lot of reviews kicked out for that one. And just from the controversy of this one, I don't know if you guys remember this, was the guy that founded Genoa, at least initially, um, some random person put out like an anonymous essay investigative report that basically linked him to being a uh, replica maker, counterfeit maker. Um, and then the shit hit the fan, literally. Um, people came out. Like, that's one reason I'm not sure I'd review the new one, is I was one of the last people to ever review this when for everything went crazy. And a lot of the luxury fans came out with pitchforks. I, mean, I, I swear I thought my channel was going to get deleted like Jody's did for a while. It was just nuts. Um, yeah, in terms of selling it, I will never sell this just because <laughs> there is that questionable heritage uh yeah I as well as i do like it because to me it is the ultimate submariner homage but that's i do have issues selling it just because of that yeah um, i like that it doesn't have mercedes hands when yeah. with the older military style yeah he, he did like the when he created it yeah it was like the indices that he liked the best because they have the mini the maxi indices the yeah. hands that go back to like the mil spec subs and no uh no loom on the second hand though that's interesting uh, yeah. Oh no, it is. It's just sort of hidden by the cyclops. Oh, okay. Let me move it. There it's gone. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And like when you zoom in on macro, it looks just fantastic. But yeah. yeah keep mean, it for the it, controversy. If he That's is a keeper. A replica maker. I'm sure he can make a good, good homage watch, right? Yeah. I mean, that was the thing, though. Is like it's, so, it's, it's kind of a the like, part of the of controversy a compliment almost. Yeah. Part of the peeing thing was that people were coming out like this proves it's a cheap ten twenty dollar knockoff, and it's like no, that guy was a really well known. I mean, yeah. people like his replicas. He was selling them to people that had real Rolexes, right. And just didn't want to wear them out in public. Yeah, it proves that it's almost as good he knew as what he was Rolex. doing. Yeah. Um, the other question, not to throw Janot under the bus, is I think it, that that article, I think it's still out there somewhere. It does a good job of proving the connection. But it still it doesn't necessarily say what's going on with the company now. Like if that guy's still there, or if there are more people working there. I don't know. Yeah, it's a whole thing. All right, are we gonna do? Uh, oh, oh yeah. you got more. Oh, there's more. Sorry. 
No, let's go through these real quick. Yeah, we're already at over an hour. So <laughs> this is just the tip of the iceberg. All right, so Zelos. Oh, keep. I like it. Keep. This is, this is going to be a hard box for me. Keep. Yeah, sorry. All yeah, yeah, yeah. Zelos. I'm going to say sell with the Zelos. Sell okay. with the Zelos. Not, okay. not because I don't like it. Just because you have a lot of watches, and I'm I'm the guy who's going to tell you to cut. To be good, yeah. Uh, let's see, the Ryan Hellcat. Oh, keep, I keep, 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 keep. Yeah. Pilot's watch. That's a weird pilot's watch. Vario Empire. Ah, uh, so okay, so, you got two Varios there. Well, I would. I'm, I'm going to skip this one because I still got to do the review on it. Yeah, <laughs> so. I'll, I would keep that one over the uh, the dual that time one. as much yeah. as I love that because I love the Reverso, but yeah, yeah. The notice okay. sell. Uh, so. sell, yeah, it doesn't speak to you. Make the hard yeah. ones. That's true at this point. The Orient Star, keep Vibrant. you love that watch, right? Yeah. I did, yeah, I did. Keep it, you know. I'm not it. gonna bring up that one. I'm giving to my nephew, Long Jeans VHP. So, so chat guys, uh, you guys are typing keep sell. There's a little bit of a delay on here, so it's, yeah. uh, put the watch name next to keep or sell so we know which ones you guys are talking about. Sorry, continue. Uh, oh, long jeans. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I want to keep all these. Uh, I'll go sell yeah. that. Well, listen, this is my primary watch box kind of a thing. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go, go keep. 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 And then prototype. I'm. I keep, keep all the prototypes. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Break out the bottom. Oh boy, oh, that's got a trick. <laughs> the 24 slot watch box. That's how you I was hide not expecting that. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Yeah. These are the right size. All right. Zoom in a little bit. See a lot of keepers in that pile. It's, yeah, so this oh. is my more primary watch box, the ones I go through. Where RKL says only keep the Pepsi from that last watch box. Oh, really? He's making the hard decisions for you there. Okay. <laughs> um, Seiko Mojito. This one is another one I'm not sure of. I, th I think I'd want to keep this one if I. I should probably limit my dress watches down because I don't wear them that often. You've, got a, you've probably got a pretty good selection of dress watches yeah. I've seen come out so far. But I think this is one I just keep because it's a good representation of what Seiko can do, and it's just really great dial. And compared to the regular cocktail time, I love that one. The Empire, Vario Empire chronograph. Uh, Jonas is wondering if you sold Miyako. the hell Miyako. Not yet. That's one that I'm I'm considering. We yeah. we may get to that. I don't know. We're over an hour already. That's a, that's a good name. I like it. That's the name of the city I live in. Yeah. Viro yeah. um, Empire Chronograph. I think I'm gonna sell this one. Um, just I love you the, got the other Empire. Yeah, you got two. Yeah. yeah. Solus Starlight, the very first micro rotor. Um, well, micro brand with a micro rotor. Uh, very hard dial to photograph. <laughs> you may yeah. be able to see. Um, I'm, this is a sentimental value because I actually wound up talking a lot to the owner. Um, so I don't want to get rid of that one just because I, I don't yeah, know. Sure uh, what what, what happened to Solis? Like, yeah, they were yeah. working on a diver and then I kind of um, heard from him. He had a baby. Oh, um, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. And yeah, and that kind of distracted. Hamilton, Khaki King. I will never get rid of this one. Uh, I sold mine. I had the I black dial. I, yeah, I, I love the champagne. Cool. This is still last couple trips. I haven't taken this, but it uh -huh. is kind of my go to travel watch. One of uh -huh. them just because it looks good. Casual. It looks good. Yeah, it's a classy Seriously. watch. Yeah. Wise watches Damascus on the fence about this one. Yeah. Um, I, it is a King, it's a King of Loom though. Yeah. It's King of Loom. It's... I love it's different than any other diver I have. Yeah, I like it. I think yeah. that's kind of want because it. it really is different. Yeah. Oh, I can't sell the king. I love the king. Yeah. All right. This one, I think I will sell. I don't. The uh, comet. It well put this way. If you get the if Nova I, and the comet. Yeah, yeah. I, one or the other I at least. One or the but, other. Yeah. Yeah, I like that it's casual, but I think the Nova was a, a better watch in terms of quality. Um, still really cool. Although I have the I white dye right, one, I really like it though. Remember, right, this is a weird one that I'm not sure what happened with it. Um, there's no number on the back saying which one it is, like all Zelos usually does. 
And I remember asking them about it, and they're like, "Oh, it's, it's like it's something happened with this one." So, mm. the Zealous Horizons GMT white dial, fully loomed. Camera does not like white dials. As a cool watch, do you still have the orange Zealous that you just reviewed yeah. a few months ago? Oh, that's a keeper. That one is gorgeous. Oh, I think the uh, orange over between that and the orange, I'd take the orange, but this is a great uh, watch too. Dave's showing off his comment. <laughs> Yeah, I got the comment. Uh, I like I like this colorway better. Yeah, yeah, that's like is that the one. NASA one or not? It's no, not. No, no, no. It's similar, but yeah. yeah, the tuxedo. I thought that one was cool. I think I'm gonna sell this one. Um, I, I like it, but again, it's just a lot of GMTs, a lot of divers. It's I a nice size. Yeah, I like the size on that one. Um, second hour mandala. I I love this watch. I'm not. Yeah, I think that's. The I think that's their best watch I've seen. And they do have the new version out, but I don't I don't like the new version as much because they had these like overhanging indices at like the 12. Yeah, and, angle, and the new them. one's just the new one's just like a one giant one instead of having oh. like two part. And that was the coolest I, I, thing I, is that it sort yeah, of I kinda like that. Over. Yeah. I don't know why. See, they and I kind of like the new one, and it's got this neat okay. kind of outline around the new one. And they just did a limited edition gray version. Yeah, Very I think cool. I saw something about that. Um Okay, so this is another one that's questionable. This is the Zelo Spearfish GMT. I like it again, but I have the orange spearfish, and I'm set on keeping the orange spearfish. I like that one better. So I kind of see like, do, do I should I have both spearfishes? Probably not. It's probably better for. Well, what's the Dave show? Same. Oh, I feel focused. Focus. Oh, you got the meteorite. Yeah, I'd hold on to that meteorite one. That one's so cool. Yeah, I like yeah, Rob. <laughs> Send me an email, Rob. Yeah. Uh, Rob's but the hands are much on mine. I've started to realize that the the set the minute hand is about ten minutes off. Yeah, so it's kind of annoying. I got to get that fixed. This one probably sell. I've had this one for a while. I've talked about this what one in the past oh, of having a. Okay. Uh, actually, it looks like the battery's dead. Uh, <laughs> I love hate really. No, I love hate yeah. ration. This is one that I've thought about selling multiple times, but then I don't sell it. Um, it's, it's made by Shinola for some people. That's probably reason enough. So it's, it's actually really well made. It's sort of this dive field watch hybrid thing. And it has just killer loom on it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And it's named, it's the Filson Mackinac. And for when I was kind of up in Wisconsin, went to Mackinac Island. And so it's got a little bit of memories with it, but Rob G says, sell the yellow Zellos to him. Yes. So send me an email. Um, but yeah, I'll probably get rid of this. I had this for a while, but it's probably about time. This is another one. Probably sell this one. Oh. They don't make this anymore, um, unfortunately. It's a oh, Belova a uh, Accutron 2. So, sorry. The history with this one is, if some of you know the Precisionist line, that it has that super smooth sweep, but it's also got a bunch of accuracy stuff in there to make it super accurate. The thing is, most of their watch, those Accutron watches are pretty big. The or most of the precisionists are pretty big. The Accutron 2 line was basically taking that smooth sweep and taking out all the extra accuracy stuff. So they, it has better battery life. It's a much smaller watch. Um, I just happened to pick this up off of eBay once just as I wanted to see it. Held on to it. I haven't worn it much. So it's a cool case. Yeah, it's yeah. a pretty simple watch. I almost want to keep it just for the smooth sweep, but I don't know. It's an interesting one, especially because yeah, I'm like not the, making uh, it anymore. I like the Accutron logo at 12. That's cool. I have a field watch with that movement by Belova, and I absolutely love it. Yeah. Let's see. What did I say? John Muffin says, Muthon, sorry. Keep the Mojito, the Hamilton, the second hour, sell so the others. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, those are kind of my favorites. Oh, wait. Did I skip? Dave should know what oh, that yeah. one is. That's yeah. his fault. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do you still have yours? Yeah. If it can get into focus there. Oh, it's upside down, too. Yeah. Yeah. I won't sell this as long as you got yours. Oh, that's a deal, huh? Yeah. No, yeah. Well, I'm going to be keeping this one for a while. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Right, Although cool. I got the blue dial version. Yeah. That one I think is cooler. All right. So let's go over. 
Do you want to keep sell the uh, mojito? Uh, I think we're covering up half of or some of the watches on the right. I can't quite see them. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Are there sell more? Is that a... No, that's mojito? it. Mojito. The mojito. Okay. Yeah, I'd sell. You got too many dress watches. It is a cool Maybe. one though. Yeah. Empire. Yeah, sell. Uh, you got the other empire. Yeah. Yeah. Wise keep, watches. Yeah, I, keep, I, I really want to see their new uh, dress sports watch, the eighty nine. But Zelos Comet. I'd sell that one. Sell, it. sell because you have so many. Yeah. Sell. The uh, Spearfish GMT. Sell. Sell. sell yeah. Filson probably sell it. I the would Bul sell it. It's cool, but yeah, you got yeah. you got better watches. The Bulova. Ah. Uh, sell yeah well, i don't think there's yeah. quite enough interesting about it out of everything else i'm not know. even gonna ask about the mandala <laughs> i keep that one yeah yeah horizons gmt keep it. Keep, yeah, yeah i keep that so yeah keep yeah. one zealous gmt if you're selling okay. the bumblebee keep that one yeah although i think i like the bumblebee better than the horizons but... oh well if you do yeah swap it maybe sell the horizons, I'll, I'll... keep the bumblebee khaki king i keep i mean i keep. i did sell mine so i'd sell yeah. it yeah, <laughs> uh, that's got sentimental value. I won't sell that yeah, one. Yeah, I've, I've been holding on to mine too because it's just yeah, it feels special. Yeah. And that's the same with same with this watch. Dave and I are watch bros. So <laughs> there you go. Thank you for the second. super chat, Michael. Oh, oh, thank uh, you, Michael. Lost Dave. Am I gone? Oh, yeah. I bet my I think my camera battery died. It went on too long. Let me see if I can let me see if I can make a comeback. All right, hold on. One second while I move some stuff around. Although my dog's right behind my chair. Aurora. You need one of those uh standby. We're having technical difficulties. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thing. Well you cover it. Okay, I'm back. Let's see how long hey, this battery lasts for. Oh, here we go. Another box. Yeah, state of the sale. Exactly. All right, so good ones in here. At least I think they're good. Yeah, the orange Zelo Spearfish, which I love just because of the movement, and it's just it's just a great yeah, one. Yeah, Spearfish is a cool one. My, these are pretty much all keepers. Christopher Ward C63 GMT that I finally got around to getting a review out. Um, yeah, that's a cool one. one. That's what I'm really tempted to try yeah. and pick up because I, lo I love the Rolex Explorer too. Yeah, I never bought it, close. but that yeah, one, that yeah. one's that one's tempting. I really wanted that one. Then they lent me one for review. Yeah, and I love my C65 so much that I had no desire to buy the C63 after. Huh. It just wears so well. This one, make me off the dial. The C65 super compressor. Okay. So that's a real true super compressor. A true super compressor. Got this used. Um, I, the if I keep aligned? one, no, I think that's why it was cheap. <laughs> yeah. So I, I was like, I think I paid, I, I don't know, it was, it was six or so for it, something like that. It was ha definitely a lot less than what they are new. Um, if I keep one super compressor style watch, it's going to be this one. Um, mm. That's a good one. Yeah, my Hamilton Intramatic, probably the one mechanical chronograph yeah, I have. That's a cool that's, one. Yeah, that's definitely. Cute. I mean, yeah, I'm not like a huge yeah. chronograph fan, but yeah, that would be like if I was going to keep one chronograph. Yeah. yeah. And the Strom Opov, I, I still think this is one of the coolest dials I've seen. Yeah, that is might cool. not be in this I camera. Like, yeah, but, I like the crystal with that one yeah. too. Yeah, it's it's, it's just a really cool watch. Because I love that it's just got this weird drop off on the end. It's just kind of a cool texture to it. So for me, yeah, like most of these are, these are all. You call that one the flat Earth watch. Yeah. Well, actually, that's more the flat Earth watch. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All keepers. I'm not even going to ask you guys on it. Unless you got some opinion on it. I mean, so like with the uh, the super compressor from Christopher Ward, 
on the yeah. one hand, I really, uh, I really appreciate what Christopher Ward is doing in, yeah. you know, they, they, they're doing some horology stuff in the kind of affordable range, which yeah. is cool. Like you got that. And then the bel canto is pretty insane to see a brand like Christopher Ward kind of, you know, I think that's a really cool direction for them. That said, I've always found the, like the super compressor thing to be kind of gimmicky at this point. It is. This like, is probably the best super compressor I've run across, not just because it's a right. true one, but the way yeah. the dial, the, the internal bezel is actually unidirectional. It's oh, not all it? loose and goofy. Um, That's interesting. Yeah, they, they did it right. Yeah. So. so I appreciate it. But yeah, that would be that would be the one out of those. And yeah, the Strom, I think, is cool. I don't know if I would maybe personally, eventually, like but I, I do like it, though. So, yeah, maybe it's it's sort of dressy. Maybe if it depends on me how many dress watches I have. All right, so let's go with this box. This should be a quick one. This is, oh, this is the other Mickey. Some more sentimental stuff. If this watch box is gonna hold up, um, some of this is sentimental. These are gonna be some weird, interesting ones. Wow, you still got that Timex? That was like yeah. one of your first yeah. reviews. Yeah, Timex Waterbury GMT or not GMT Waterbury. Um, this is the very first video I ever put out for the channel. It is the first one. Okay. Yeah, very first one. It's kind of what started the channel. So yeah. I don't wear it much anymore, but I, I won't get rid of it just because of that. When was your first video? How long ago? A uh, little over five years ago. So, well, but start on this one. If I can get it out. This one, I'll probably, I will sell this one. Uh, it's a Bolivia Curve. Oh, okay. Where yeah. it's got the funky, curved the case. everything's curved, the hands are curved. It's oh, one wow. of the high accuracy. It's a really cool watch to check out. Um, crystal too, crystal's curved? Yeah, the crystal's curved, the hand's kind of have an edge to them. It's cool oh, to check Aaron out. Aaron Dunlop is in the chat. Good to see hey, you. Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. I have a problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Aaron, you you haven't seen the, uh, the half of it. Yeah. <laughs> Although... Uh, how many watches does Mark from Long Island have? Like he's got, he may have the most out of anybody I've ever heard of. Well, he doesn't start any Rob watches. He said, yeah. he said he's now trying to start a watch library. I think that's uh, a pretty good goal for any uh, wow. any watch collector, yeah. right? This is another sentimental one. This is probably one of the first watches I bought. Like I actually bought myself when I was in college. Um, yeah, it looks like it's seen solar. some uh, some good wear. Action. We'll get to my other one. Um, a Movado. Okay. That is completely broke. Crack dial. Doesn't oh, wow. work. It was my dad's watch. Oh. Okay. I've tried to have it repaired a few times, but it's so thin. It was like a specialized wow. movement you can't find yeah. anymore. Um, I got a donor watch once and tried swapping it out, but it didn't work. Oh, boy. Um, so sentimental. Yeah. There, I might sell this one. Um, it's one of the first Vera watches I look at. It's. Yeah. Great field quartz. watch, quartz, good go-to, just great finishing on it. It's kind of what they're known for. Yeah. Uh, here's my other Mickey, the Shinola Mickey, which is more of like the traditional Mickey where the hands are actually Mickey's hands. Yeah. And Sapphire Crystal, okay, Shalom. Um, and it's part of their Runwell series, so it's got kind of like the retro. Yeah, it's got cool lugs on it. Lugs, whatever. Yeah, wired lugs. Yeah, it's kind of interesting how they went with the silhouette, Mickey. That kind of makes the hands yeah. not look as awkward in the various yeah. positions. Mm -hmm. I'm between the two. I think I'm leaning towards this one to keep, but I have to keep one Mickey watch. Um, that one is more Mickey. The other yeah. one's kind of a more subtle, clever yeah. Mickey. Yeah. Uh, this was an undone watch. I might give this one away. It, it's got my logo on it. They're sort of. Oh, they made it. Go. Like they did a custom dial for me. Is that a rotating bezel on it too? No. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. It's uh, Type Twenty One or okay. Type Twenty. That's kind of cool. It's a cool when, watch, but I haven't worn it in forever. When yeah, I first, first got like, into watches. Brand? Which but brand since is it's RT. <laughs> but yeah, logo. and that's when I, I might heard... do something like that. Um, but I said, what's I don't happened wear it, no. to Undone? Because when I first got into watches, everyone was reviewing Undone watches, but. Uh, I haven't heard from them in forever. And then it's been years. Yeah. I think they're still making a lot. I think they just haven't been sending them out. They've, I think they've kind of moved beyond like 
sending yeah. out watches to YouTubers to kind of have a different yeah. market. Not strategy. full loom. Um, it would have been cool if they did make it full loom, but it's not full. Oh, loom. that would have been awesome if the Mickey was <laughs> yeah, shadowed. Silhouette. Yeah. So this is the second watch I ever bought for myself. Oh. Wore this thing to death. It's titanium, so a lot of sentimental value to it. Wore it in labs. It's all banged up. It's all scratched up. It's a kinetic, um, so I'd have oh, to cool. move it to bring it off. Extremely lightweight, but again, sentimental value. So kinetic, do they ever need to be, they don't ever need to be like, uh, what, uh, adjusted or anything, right? It's just, it's a quartz no, regulator in there? Uh, no, 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 it's, it's pretty much, yeah, it's a quartz watch, but it has the rotor to charge yeah. it. So it's got a little generator in there. Okay. It, it's kind of when you compare it to the it, how well to solar works. Capacitor ever, or is it? Theoretically, you weren't supposed to, but that was no. one of the big problems with kinetics. Because about ten years after they first came out, the capacitors they were using were faulty. Oh no! Um, and that all the watches were starting to die. So uh. they just—I wound up replacing it. And the replacement's a lithium-ion battery. So eventually, it's just like a solar, okay. and it wasn't necessarily supposed to. Um, let's see. This is one will eventually be sold. I bought this to do a review on it. I'll say Maybe I'll order. Yeah, it's the SNKL twenty three. Yeah, which was I think like a cult classic. Yeah, it's it's a classy um, looking watch because it disappeared for a while and then came back. Yeah. I this is one I have to think about. Like, do I want to just sell it or do I get around to eventually doing a review of it before doing it? If oh, you never still available, no. Yeah, turn to a mod project. Uh, Slap a sapphire crystal in there. Yeah. Get an upgrade a bracelet. Another one I won't sell. It's the Vario Eclipse. Yeah, that was one of their early ones. Um, this is there's only two of these in existence of this dial color. Um, oh. Ivan, a couple Christmases ago, did a silent auction to benefit like a local charity. I just happened to make a bid and happened to win it. Um, so it's one of two only made. So I won't get rid of it because of that. And it's I, I do wear it every once in a while. It's it's just one of those watches that's also a pain to photograph because of the simplistic design. The hands just sort of go into the background. But it's and coincidentally, the Eclipse line was one of the first times like the I ever watched Jody's channel. I think he was reviewing one. Yeah, and I always I think back to that. Yeah. And then yeah, Vario was kind of yeah, they were early on in sending out watches to YouTubers. So. Yeah. The Oceanus T200. I okay, might sell yeah. this. Might. Um cuz I've wanted to check out some more Oceanus, so I yeah. might sell this just to fund buying like maybe one of the crazy chronograph ones. What do you what do you like better, that one or the uh Longines Conquest high Long jeans, I think. Course? Yeah. This is maybe a little bit more comfortable wear, but I just love the the VHP. The VHP is so accurate. Like I said, I haven't two years and it's like one second off. Although this is solar, which is more convenient. Is that one radio controlled too? Yeah. So that one will that one will be that more one should accurate. be accurate. It's kind of, yeah. It's kind of cheating a little bit. Yeah. It's not Although, the watch that's doing it. Yeah. This technically is also Bluetooth. I've actually traveled with this one. This one actually works pretty well as a travel watch too. Because it'll sync with your phone, and then even then, if you hit GPS, like you want to go for a run, it'll sync with the satellite and give you exactly what it's supposed to. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. You guys want to go over this box, or yeah, let's let's do let's keep and sell. Yeah. Yep. Let's start with the bull of a curve. I'd sell. So. It. so. Oh wait, I completely forgot this one. Yeah, that's it. We didn't really look at that one. <laughs> This is the Comet Chronograph. Not selling this one. This is another Which prototype is cool. that, that never is, got such made. Such a cool watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a keeper. I the like green. that one. Yeah, I love the dial on it. The uh, branded undone watch. I mean, yeah. So I guess it's giveaway or sell. Yeah, yeah you got. I don't think I'd sell it. I'd give it away like, if anything. Yeah, I think the Intermatic replaces it in your collection. Yeah. That it's the first watch I ever reviewed. Yeah, I, that one. I uh, mean, even if it wasn't, that's a cool watch. Yeah, I like again. That one. This is that one of your first. I, I think, that's well, one of the first. It's one of the first reviews I saw of yours too. Keep it. Yeah. Next. Uh, the this one, yeah, I will sell this one, but this yeah, I probably wouldn't keep it. But yeah, it might be a fun yeah, mod project or get some videos out of it. But uh, the solar powered one again. It was the uh, actually still working. Actually, it's ticking. Yeah, it's already piece. ticking now. Um, yeah, it's, it's over Double 20 ticking. 25 years old, maybe now. 
Wow. Never swapped out the yeah. battery or anything. It's giving me the low battery indicator, but it's yeah. gone. My dad's old watch. Yeah, I got to keep that one. The Vare? Yeah. I, you know, I think you've got a lot of other field watches. It's yeah. pretty similar to the yeah. the Hellcat. I'd keep that one over, or the Hellcat over that one. So I'd keep Yeah, for sure. So, so which Mickey? Mickey? So now that we got both Mickeys <laughs> out there, that's There's tough. The They're both kind of cool. Yeah. I would keep I both. Feel like I would I kind of feel like I would keep the Citizen. I like the I like what they yeah. did with the propeller there better. But that's a pretty cool Mickey watch too. But anyway, yeah. sell. Yeah. And this one is discontinued. They don't make let's it make, anymore. Let's make the hard um, decisions. There, that's. Yeah, uh, that's a rare one. One of only two. Yeah, yeah. sentiment. I'll keep that one. You think the Chrono, the Comet Chronograph too, is um, every once in a while on like some of the watch forums or like on the Facebook group, somebody will be asking like, "Hey, does it, anyone know how to get one?" Because I guess for a while, um, the guy that did it made a bunch of prototypes. And after it died, uh, the, they'd get funded. A lot of people were contacting him. So there are a, a fair amount of these still out there because um, a lot of people wanted them and bought them off them. Yeah, the Shinola Mickey. Well, it's not, you can't say made in the US, but yeah. it, it's assembled in the US. Is it a sapphire crystal? I missed that. Yeah, sapphire crystal. Okay, that's nice. Okay. So sapphires, yeah. the Citizen Solar Citizen not Echo Drive, well. which is good, but yeah, this says sapphire. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah. It looks like a nice leather strap on that too, actually. Yeah, it's not bad. Right, let's move on. As long as you guys still got time. Yeah, I'm running out, but I've got. I can stick around for a little bit longer. Maybe okay. one more box. Just tell me um let's go but i'm i'm sure you guys can continue without me yeah um you got a lot of a lot of help in the chat today small box right we got 82 guys watching that's a good it's a good crowd yeah small box so my original vostok it's key because this is one of the standards I use for OK Loom, so I'm not getting rid of that. It's almost in every single video I've made, and they're not worth much to sell. And I, I don't know, I just like it still. My modded Casio Royale. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I, I like this so much. Um, between this and my Garmin, I, I have no city. I don't really have a reason to have a G-Shock, even though I do have a couple. But I'll be selling those. Yeah, I like that black one. I have the I have the yeah. bronze case one, which is cool too. This is a conundrum. Um, my turtle. Oh, Alton's showing off. Is ah, uh, there we go. Um, this isn't practically every single video I've ever made as in the loom comparison. Yeah, loom comparison. Yeah, but I haven't been wearing it, and I've been kind of getting away from that size of a watch. It's so like I said, if. I sell this. I'm keeping my other monster, the Ant the Antarctica monster. Um, between the two, the monster I, I, would, I would take that one over yeah. the monster. I'm just not a fan of the monster. Yeah. Sorry, no, guys. I don't know about you, buddy. It's one, just it's one of the know. few times me and Alden disagree. Like typically, <laughs> I think we're pretty pretty yeah. similar. This is a pretty thick, kind of turtleish case. I'll sell this one. Uh, yeah, it's got I tritium loom. Yeah, which that's is cool. cool. What is that? Uh, Ayuda's Pacific Blue. T25 oh. titanium. Cool. Jesse, it actually, it is 1130 here in Japan. And Michael, you're not muted. We can still see you, bud. Yeah. Uh, this is, I say this, I wore this watch. I don't know if somebody remembers from the review when we had the winter apocalypse here in Texas and power was out for a couple of days. Uh, so this got, this did helpful, was very helpful with the tritium during the that period. Tritium's cool. But. It's, uh, it's, Yeah, it's uh, it's got a really different performance level than regular loom. Um, one of the Kronos watches I have, I'd probably sell this. Um, I don't really wear it much anymore. It, it's just got a crazy good dial. It's got some nice patina. I think it had really good loom too. Uh, that one's Rob is a T25. I think most of the balls are T100s, so it's probably about four times better. Sorry, um, assuming they're all new. The morning here, Barrett. Not not in the evening. I'm still. I'm getting ready for lunch soon. I got. A, I got a day ahead of me. Yeah. So, we. You wanted to say that's to me is a keeper, just because. So it's a modded out. Royale. I'm gonna sell the the turtle. I think, um, and sell these two. Yeah, I would. I would yeah. keep the turtle and the yeah. I'd, 
keep the turtle, the cat, modded Casio. That I like that boss doc. B. I'd sell the uh, the Audaz and the Chronos. Mm. Yeah, keep the Vostok and keep the Casio and sell the rest. Let's get to the last. So what? Watch this is the last one. I was gonna say well, we're about halfway halfway done here. Or? I have a couple other not boxes <laughs> that I can go through, but this is probably the more interesting. Those are some more random stuff, but this is probably the more interesting um, watches that people have actually heard of. If I can get it open. All right, so if I can reach around. Sell this one. It's a uh, Orinion. <laughs> I mean, it's it's Proxima's watch. Mm -hmm. it's, so it's kind of all express. I like express. the cool dial. It's this kind yeah, of semi-see through. It, yeah, it's the plasticky kind of version of um, what Christopher Ward was doing, which I never, I didn't really yeah. like Christopher Ward version. Yeah, yes. Yes, Michael, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that, that, there's a problem. <laughs> Um, it is a conundrum after all. Yeah. Apparently, we're almost through the ones that are in boxes, yeah. watch boxes. But they then modded out. I guess that's only one one segment. Yeah, the modded out. Um, yeah, those are fun. Cast the oaks. Yeah, that's, and that's a classy, cool. classy one you get with the yeah. kind of black or silver and black. Yeah, it's a little heavy to wear, but again, yeah, it's like a modded watch. I don't feel right ever getting rid of a modded watch. Yeah, I think it's Omnion. Omnion. That's right. But it's like they have the. Onion. The U all turned weird. It looks yeah, like onion. Uh, yeah, onion. The uh, let's see, this is the Axios the Pathfinder. Pathfinder. I think I'm gonna sell this, and this is actually on a Christopher Ward uh, tied strap. Just at the moment. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> it's a um, really nice watch, but you've got. Yeah, I have so many others. You've got better. The Helm Miyako, Michael. Oh, there we go. Represent. I'm, I'm so mixed on this. Um. I just haven't worn it lately, at least in the last couple of months. It's a good uh, 50 Fathoms kind of Yeah, mod. kind of watch. I kind of want it. But again, it's like I have so many divers. Yeah. Should I keep it? I, I just I never, probably, never resonated with that model. I don't know why. Yeah. And a lot of it's other home a, fans haven't either. Yeah, it's um, a bit, it's kind of a big departure from their original, the first design they did, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. This is Wacky San Martin. Sell that. Um, oh, you know, I thought you bought a uh, Patek Philippe for a second there. No, it's it's yeah, it's just this weird little sort of retro looking, crazy San Martin. That one I don't really wear much, so probably sell it. <laughs> this one is a uh, Vostok, very simple, very clean Vostok. This is one oh, I bought to review. Cool. Um, did it come out there? Did you buy it? No, that's this is how it came. Oh. I bought this. Couple months before Russia decided to invade Ukraine. <laughs> so yeah, I think I, I did the same thing. Yeah. yeah other reviewers. I was, gonna review. I was like, no, hold off. Yeah. Well, let's see a how lot of you guys out. may not realize this, but I'm sure that we're not the only ones who probably yeah. bought some cool Voss stocks out there right. and we're like, oh. yeah, which is a shame because, yeah, it's, it's not like the watch company yeah, has anything it's not to their do fault. with that. Yeah. yeah. But still, everybody's so sensitive on YouTube. It's like, yeah. It, it's, yeah. and it's kind of like, it, I don't know. It's a whole thing. Uh, Great Wall. That's Keeper oh, for me. King of Loom. The King of Loom. Original King of Loom. And it's just so different. And I do wear it occasionally. Um, this one I'll probably sell. This is the, the uh, Swiss watch company. That is a green. Gotta wait until Hyper G. Patrick's, Hyper G. Patrick's there, right? Oh, yeah. That's true. Because um, yeah, it's Grade 5 Titanium. I think it's Grade 5 Titanium. Really great loom. I, I actually don't like green watches quite as much. Um, so I don't need quite as many green watches. Yeah. I, yeah, they, I, they sent me one to review yeah. and it had some dust under the dial. So I sent it back. I think they're going to send me another one, but I will see. But the, yeah. for the short time I had it, I was really impressed with the finishing and the design. Yeah, it, it's good. It's just one of those that don't, it's just not resonating me with, with me long. Yeah. Uh, selling that. I just haven't got around to it. Lume That's Tech. the I mean, Loom Tech kind of Solar. It's a cool looking watch. But... Yeah, I was kind of disappointed in the Loom. And again, super compressor style. If I'm going to keep one super compressor, it's going to be the Christopher Ward. Loom Tech just announced they're creating a spin off brand that's more affordable. Partial Loom? I don't know. I love this Veyer. I remember your yeah. review on that. 
that watch and yeah. come close to buying it many times. Yeah. If I sell the other Vare, i am probably keep this one, at least for a little bit. Um, it's so cool, especially when yeah. you've got the red date, which I don't yeah. know, it five times a month or something. I think it's every other. Every other? Okay. Yeah. Why they did it. I think I talked to the guys behind it and they're just, they did it just because. Oh, wait, no. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's like every three or four days. But quickly go over this one and then we'll get to the bottom of this drawer. <laughs> sell. I go sell. Yes, I showed it, uh, T Bone, I showed it earlier. It, that's definitely a keeper. That's not going anywhere. So the helm. So I, I like it. I think I, I think I'd keep that one. Yeah, I, I'm so mixed on it because yeah, if you're mixed the only helm I have. Yeah, when you have that many watches, if you're not yeah. if you're not sure, sure, so, yeah, the yeah. Pathfinder sell reset makes it. Yeah, sell. I'd sell modded watch. I don't. I mean, buy. yeah, I can't resell, but yeah, I'm the on keep it. That one's cool. So, I I might so. hang on to it for a little bit. But sell it to Dave. There. Yeah, I don't know. Well, see, that's the thing. I don't know if I would buy it then. So maybe don't sell it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sell, but I wouldn't buy it yeah. from you. So yeah, the very yeah, I. If I, I sell it, I'll sell it to Alton. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. So uh, definitely sell. Yeah, okay. sell. That'll sell. Hyper G. Yeah, I don't like the green on that. I sell. think I'd sell it. I they sent me the gray version. Sell I like all it green dials. <laughs> great wall, I'm not selling. Although the new great wall is coming out, so maybe I'll wait and see if that yeah, one. Michael Collins says, if you don't love it, sell it. I think yeah. I think that's the way to go. I, I is it right that's selling like Vostok one. these days? <laughs> you know, second hand is fine, right? It's the the money is going to you. It's not going back uh, to Russia. So yeah, you should only buy boss second hand Vostoks. So, so some interesting ones oh, here. There's another cool green one for you, Alden. Yeah. Uh, another Vostok. This one was my fully loomed 24-hour Vostok. That one's limited pretty cool, edition. Actually. I like that one. Yeah, limited edition. I've had multiple people ask me if I've ever sell it. I think I'm actually getting ready to sell it. Um, you should uh, swap that over to 24-hour bezel. That would be cool. Yeah. And he can use dual time. Trebus. This is another interesting one. Did um, they go out of business? Yes. So did, for those did. that don't know, tri Tribus, Trebus, whatever you want to call it, uh, Christopher Ward, the, the actual guy named Christopher Ward that started Christopher Ward, yeah, when he sold cool Christopher name, Ward, started this company that was kind of a higher end thing where his sons did something like that. They didn't really work out. So they sold all their watches at like really good low prices. So it's kind of a cost certified watch that was like 300 bucks. Oh, yeah. Oh, got one. OK, yeah, you got to keep it forever then. Okay, yeah. You can sell yours to Alton sells his. I'm I'm mixed I like on that. it. I, yeah, I like that. It's a little one. big, but yeah. What size is it? Uh 41 and a half, 42, something uh, like that. Yeah, but all dial, so yeah, I can see how that works. I do like the bit. cream dial on it. Yeah. I love this watch. Yeah. It's chronometer grade. Yeah. It's got no price. date, so you don't and I think oh, I paid no date. Oh, I think I paid yeah. under 400 like a, Canadian, yeah. so around three 300 US. That's crazy. The finishing on this is just it beautiful. is. It's really nice. Um, everything about it is just absolute quality. I love this I watch. Uh, Rob was asking what's the plan to sell. Initially, I'll throw stuff up on my website, um, or if somebody wants, just wants to email me. Like, whenever, if anybody ever sees anything on yeah, any review I'm watching, doing, you got a good good shot here. If you see anything you yeah. like. Send same email. Yeah. Eventually, I'll I'll put stuff up on my website first, and then eBay if nothing sells there, or maybe I'll try uh, something else. The problem with eBay is they're just greedy bastards. Um, I think they charge 15 15 percent commission now yeah, on any watch. Now. Dang. Yeah. Uh, another Omnion onion, whatever. Um, interesting, but actually, I might give this to my brother because his name is Lance. Um, <laughs> it has Lance on the bottom. <laughs> That, that's this a weird. Idea. That's like so. Do you read that one on the those dials, right? It's like not doesn't have hands. Yeah, it's yeah. The, it's a second hand, but no. It's got other the second ones. hand, but then that's the it's hour, cool. and then that's the minute in there. Yeah, it's it's different. It's interesting. It's See, that's loomed that's up. That's the kind of thing that I like out of like those yeah. uh, Chinese brands where you get something interesting like that. You know, you I don't know if I'd want to pay for that from a big brand. Yeah, but it's like a, a good one, cheap way to pick one up. Yeah. Fun, fun. This dial. is the one, another one from Proxima. The unicorns on the dial. Yeah. 
I oh, like this one. Core. That's a just because cool it's really cool. The loom looks for the short amount of time it's up. It looks cool because it's like yeah. all tronned up because everything black has on there. A lot of cool little designs. Yeah. That was the first watch I got oh, from them. I that one I, I haven't. I haven't gotten any from them. They keep asking to send it. I just haven't had time, but I, I like them. Uh, San Martin Ranger. That one's going. No. Yeah. Not even a second thought. Um, I don't really like the Ranger design, to be honest no. with you. The, I do. The, the, I like it. The, I like the it a lot, but it's too homage. Yeah. The hour yeah. hand to me always just it looks weird. I don't like the hour. I hand. like it better than the snowflake. I like yeah. it better than the Mercedes. I kind of yeah. like it. It's like it's a you on that, Dave. See this, I'm mixed on the JCB or, or second or the or sorry Matthew and Sons JCB. Yeah. It's their casual kind of dress watch. It was modeled after I think the owner's grandfather, like a watch he had. Yeah, I like it, but I just haven't worn it much. So mm. I should probably sell it and let somebody else enjoy it. Um, this is another one I bought and never got around to reviewing. One of the Timex Qs. Uh, although I might wind up giving it to my wife because she's liked it. She's like, yeah, there you go. It's always kind hard to find weird, wa wa watches that your wife yeah. likes, right? It's a lot like wallet. that. You may not get much for it, so giving it away yeah. might yeah. be the better way to go. See, the Perrin Nera? What was this one? Yeah, Nera. Um, That's very interesting cool watch. One. Cool watch. Again, Maybe I have so many divers. Like that one a lot, but yeah, that it's a nice, one. small size. I think I'll, I wound up selling it, but I love the color. Yeah, it's like this faded green. But I love yeah, really is cool that, black. Is, say, is that a green dial? It's like almost, yeah. see, it almost looks black. Yeah, that is kind of cool. And, and it's got the, the vampire fangs on the dial because that's their logo. Because yeah. they're from Transylvania. Transylvania. That's kind of a cool touch. Yeah. And Ooh, look at that guy. The uh, crazy Aragon GMT with the wacky bracelet. Yeah, I, I, I would like keep a, this one for now. I think like a bike chain. Just because it's, it's crazy. And since it's Aragon, they're not necessarily worth that much to sell. Yeah, it's it's a very interesting bracelet. So, you guys want to go over this one? or? Yeah, let's go going? through. Then I'm going to have to jump out after our, my buy sell okay. recommendations. I don't have guys, much feel, left, but feel free to continue. Keep. 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 <laughs> keep. Yeah. Sell uh, or give away. Uh, give away. Your brother. I, yeah. Lance, give to Lance. I sell. So may, maybe, yeah. That one. Sell. Yeah, sell. You know, I, I, that one. Yeah, I wouldn't keep that. It's just not my style, but I, I appreciate it for what there, it is. There are very few times. Yeah, as and there are very few times I might want to wear that much purple. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so it's cool, yeah, this, but you've got. I enough. like that one too. But yeah. 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 Yeah, I think you got to pare down. Yeah, give that Good one to your wife. wife. Yeah. So let's sell that one. No. Yeah, if you're not, yeah, if you don't love it. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm thinking. All right, guys. I'm going to have to uh, call Good it here you, for me. But again, you guys, is it getting late for you guys? What time is it for you guys? I've got to get lunch. And it's eight. Some stuff I do almost there. nine, but I can stay. Oh, that's not longer. so bad. Order to yeah. 10. Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'll no. stick around for. Yeah, I'll see you a bit more. Right. I might yeah. have to stretch my back, though. <laughs> yeah, I'll go through the last ones pretty quick because I'm sure. I don't know. You guys watching? You good for more? Or you want to wrap this up? <laughs> yeah, you guys in chat, fill in for me. So we, again, Still Shane's here. trying to cut. I, trying I don't to have cut much more, least, but I got one more of these today. Right? We're gonna yeah. get rid of at least five. Oh, at least five. Yeah. Yeah, you should go. Yeah. 30. Well, I'm not gonna be here for it, but yeah, at the end, uh, yeah, show the watches you're you're gonna sell, and then that way everyone can keep oh, you accountable. Don't, to I might get too crazy. Have to go sort <laughs> through them. Okay, guys. It was good seeing everybody. We, see you, buddy. I'm, see you, right. I'm just leaving, but you know, you guys keep going. All don't, right. Don't let me stop. See you, Dave. Thanks for coming. All right. Yeah. Thanks for All right. the invite. Yeah. Not a ton left to go through. Just one more of these, oh. and that's about it. If Alton's get up to stretch his legs. Yeah. All right. So I'll go over these briefly while he's doing that. Ooh, almost dropped that one. Uh, this one's a sell. I think I already said that when I did the review. It's the Orient M Force giant thing. Yeah, sell. So. Yeah, with the compass bezel. This steel dive flieger, I'm gonna sell it. Um, if especially if I keep the escapement time, I don't see much reason to keep this one around. 
because originally I was holding on to it because I want to do kind of like a comparison between like Escapement Time, that one, and the Lockout, but mm -hmm. I don't think I'll ever get yeah. around to it. Proxima, another one of theirs. I'll probably sell this one. It's It's got the unicorn on the dial. It's kind of an interesting, weird one where it was uh, they're attempting to make ones that you could swap the case. So this is like a Marine Master case, and it also came with like, a uh. turtle case. Um, it's, it's pretty well made, uh, but I mean, when I have my Glacier Marine Master, I don't really need that. At least that's my thought. Uh, <laughs> this one, BSL, I think. It's the uh, Sharky, not Sharky, what's the brand? I've been on here too long, my brain stopped working. Uh, I think I called this one the uh, No Time to Design. Is that Watch. Heimdaller? Yeah, Heimdaller, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, because this is modeled after the No Time to Die Omega Seamaster, so I called it the yeah. No Time to Design. Uh, <laughs> which I never did the review of, but that was going to be the review title. I thought it was great. I was going to say, I, th I think I missed that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, kind of a, it's actually pretty good for an homage. Nice style. Really lightweight titanium. But They make good stuff. I'm just not a big yeah. homage guy. Yeah, these days it's just, not that I have anything against it, it's just I kind of get boring board with it oh dave's uh dave's commenting while he's on his phone <laughs> <laughs> oh on my wrist sell <laughs> one of the reasons nah this isn't a sell um oris aquas zoom in new caliber 200 400 or so 200 400 um yeah i recently bought this that's another reason i'm looking to sell stuff as the responsible thing is to sell some things i'm not wearing to help cover this as well as a few of the other things I recently got. Um, yeah, another Heimdaller monster. I think I've actually had this for sale on my website before. I just not much a reason to have it when I have a real monster. Another, this is one of the San Martin's sort of semi original. I actually bought this one to do a review. Again, never got around to it. It just has this weird, funky hour hand. Yeah, it's it. Do you like it? It's hard to, t I can't no. tell. I mean, I, I do like it from your pictures and video. Yeah, I kind of like it, but again, I just have so many divers, I don't see a point in keeping it. Um, it's just a question of whether I do a video on it or just sell it. Um, in fact, I'm not even sure they still sell it, so it might just be a straight sale because yeah. people tend to get angry if you review something that's not actually for sale. Yeah. Yeah, it does kind of look like a wise hour hand, but it's, I think it looks sort of like a, I call it the Thor's hammer, because it kind of looks like an old Viking hammer or a Pokeball on a stick, one of the two. And the minute hand's pretty funky, too. I don't know. Uh, up here, Lockout. I don't remember the name of this Lockout. Uh, both of these Lockouts, this is yeah. another one I got off Watch Gang. At one point, went during their wheel of watches. I like that one a lot. Yeah, I think I eventually keep this one. This is one I do want to get a video out at some point. It's one of their deck watches, and it's fully loomed. It's really cool. It's the Cuxhaven or something like that. Something like that. Their names. Uh, websites just uh, relative dash time dot com. Um, eventually, I might put it in the. This is a live. I haven't put anything in the description yet. Yeah, you, you know, once you see the Pokeball, you can't unsee the Pokeball, Jesse. Mm -hmm. um, this is another one. I think I will sell this one. I, I just really wanted to check it out. It was their special Californian tile Fliegers. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know. It's, it's a larger size that I don't quite like, and I'm not sure I'm vibing with this long term. I haven't actually tested the, um, the loom on it long term. I don't but mind the California dial, box. but the outline numbers don't really show up too well. Yeah, it's not the best contrast. So I probably, whether I get around to doing a video, we'll see. Otherwise, I'll sell it. Um, and this one I have, don't yell at me, um, is because of Dave. <laughs> this is the, uh, one of the new Invicta Pro Divers. If some of you caught the last time we live streamed for the collection conundrum, we did this whole thing where Joma shop gave us basically 500 bucks to spend. And we had to pick three different watches to buy it. Um, and then some of us got one of them and then, yeah. So I got this one. 
Uh, Alton got, I think, a Seiko that he's probably pulling out right now. And I can't remember which one Dave got. Um, I think it was an Alpina. I'll pull it up. Yeah, he got a really cool Seiko while I got the Invicta. But the idea is that we got them, so we're going to eventually get a whole review out on them. Although this isn't the first Invicta Pro Diver I've had. So one of the things I'm going to talk about in the review is actually, it's not bad. Um, but it's more about the value side of it. Like, is it worth getting? Because back like three, four years ago, when I started the whole channel, the Pro Diver was a good watch to buy for the money. Because you could mm -hmm. pick them up like 60 bucks all day, every day. Certain times Amazon would have them on sale for 35 bucks. You can't beat that. And that was before like a lot of the AliExpress brands really started getting their stuff together. I told you guys it's a good watch. Although yeah. seeing it in person now, I wish we'd gone black because yeah. it's way more silver in person than it appeared in images. It looked a little more white. Yeah. And uh, I'm not a big silver guy, but yeah, it's a cool watch. G-Shock, uh, the original move. Yeah. Had this since launch. Never got around to making a video on it. I got it because that was still sort of during the pandemic because I wanted to get back into running. Um, helped a little bit, but like a year later, I wound up buying this Garmin Instinct, and I like this so much more. This does everything that I wanted this one to do, and, and it just it didn't do it. It's kind of – the interface is slow. Um, it's missing a lot of features. It, it kind of shows that Casio knows how to make a great watch, but this is their first running watch and they didn't quite do their homework to see what everybody else was doing for the same price. Um, although was, Alton said okay. the new one's coming out. Um, and that yeah, one I think good. is actually interfaced with Android. So it might actually be good. The one thing I will say on this battery life is bats crazy. As, and as big and as chunky as it is, it's maybe not surprising. Um, it's just insane how much battery life you have on it. I think I charged it. I've charged it maybe twice over two years. Um, and I've used it multiple times running. I think one time we did a, uh, white water rafting through Colorado and I kind of wore it through almost the entire day, just tracking where I was going. Still had plenty of power to spare. So I'm kind of obsessed right now with, with G-Shock and Casio, yeah. about five Casios in the past three weeks. And oh, I'm five. thinking either... Yeah, I mean they're like 25, 30 bucks. Okay. But I want I'm looking at either the Range Man or a Mud Man. Yeah. Or perhaps the Move. So if anyone in the comments has any insight, I'm kind of leaning towards the new Range Man with the yellow and black scheme. Yeah. Yeah. The negative dial on this one is so much better than like the squares. Yeah. Um, well, and that's another one I've been looking at is the two hundred dollar Move version, which is more like a square. It has yeah. the same kind of dial. Yeah, the Garmin also has really good legibility too for a negative dial. Oh yeah, yeah. And this to me is just a lot more comfortable, so especially when you're running. This thing was just so huge. Um, it's just a lot better to have something nice, small, and compact on your wrist. Yeah, you can get the 2016 Rangeman for 240 bucks on the at the bay right now, Canadian. So that's what 190 US. Or for four forty five, you can get the newest colorway, and I like the newest colorway. So, what do you do? Yeah, so I got one more of these to go through, but you want to keep or sell? Sell. So, cool. yeah, so sell. It. This one I'll sell. Um, sell. Might do a quickie video on it. Well, not if the new one's coming out. I might just sell it if the new one's coming out. Um, pro diver long term? I don't know. Um, my original pro diver that I had. I actually modded and gave to my father-in-law as a present um, with a whole I new dial and handset. That Invicta would make a great gift for somebody. Yeah. It's classy. It's wearable. Yeah. Um, Best thing compared to the old ones, there's no tramp stamp that says Invicta yeah. on it. <laughs> yeah. Lockout, I think eventually. I'd sell. I'll sell it, yeah. This one, I think I'll keep. Keep. Yeah. yeah everyone has to have a deck watch. Yeah. Uh, let's see the Steel Dive Flieger. I'm selling. Sell. The Funky Proxima Marine Master. Sell. Yeah. Not a fan of that logo at all. The, the No Time to Design. <laughs> Keep it so you can do that review. Just uh, uh, if if maybe if they're still uh, selling it, I will. It's too but. good. 
too good not to do. Yeah, because this whole second camera thing is working pretty well. Might try to do like a live review sometime. At least yeah. get like live feedback with everybody watching just to answer your question idea. immediately. Um, monster. I already got the other monster. So. Yep. So, and then the Pokeball <laughs> steel. Sell, 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 sell. Yeah. Sell. yeah, yeah. See, one more. And these are going to be maybe some more interesting, weirder ones. Yeah. So let's start here. This is one of the other Vario 1918s. This is the mm. medic version. Um, I already have the other trench. It's a brass so case. It's a brass case. I'm actually, I know a lot of people in the medical field. There's someone specifically that I'm thinking of just giving it to. Um, yeah, it might be interesting. I don't know. Has anybody ever done a live review before? It might be interesting to try it. I've never seen one. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't think I'll keep this long term, but I think I know somebody or a couple people who might actually want it. And they're like nurses and physicians. So, because it's got the uh, pulsometer thing on the side. Uh, this one's 40. I think the other 1918 is 39 or 38. I'd have to look it up. It, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting, but I have the other one. Um, yeah, this might be the one I'll, this will be like the last AliExpress sort of watch to go. Let me move the hands. Um, it's kind of a favorite of mine. It was one of the first ones I ever looked at. It's this Cadison. You can't find it anymore. Funky design. Actually, it's really, really nice cool. bracelet. This, I've never put this on my time grapher. I probably should, but for the longest time, this was the most accurate watch I ever owned. Wow. Um, not counting the VHP. So I think over the course of the month that I had it running on like a winder, it lost like maybe a second. Um, so it's, there's some sort of sentimental value there, I guess. Other G Shock. This is the GST. B200, something like that. It's one of their pilots ones. Um, got this a while ago. Never did a video on it. It just didn't resonate with me long term. I've never even seen that before. Yeah. Um, it's not, it doesn't have atomic time, but it does have Bluetooth. Um, it's, it's an interesting one. It's all metal. Got the integrated sort of rubber straps. Um, I liked it, but it just, it's because of the size and again, any digi watches, I kind of, I think this watch helped me realize that any digi watches really just aren't for me. Um, I don't really see the point to it sometimes. There's probably a G-Shock collector out there who would love a piece like that. Oh yeah. Uh, another random one off all express. We're down to the, the bare bones stuff here. Uh, um, it's Tritium selling this. I actually only bought it if I had an idea for a video that I never made. Uh, originally, I was going to test out a theory comparing it with other Tritium-based watches to see, you know, does, does AliExpress Tritium actually glow as bright as other Tritium watches? But I just never got well, around. That's a great idea. I think people would watch that video. Would you guys yeah. watch that video? I'd be interested. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Guan Chin Nomo Samaj watch. I think if anybody wants it, I'd probably sell it. It's actually worth anything. This is one of the earlier ones kind of had on the channel. Yeah. Though I got a Barton strap on there, which is really nice. Another DIY watch club. Um, again, it's I'm not giving anybody, or I might give somebody a watch I made, but I'm not going to try to sell a watch that I put together. That's a nice one, though. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's got kind of a cool, nice silver dial. I think between the two DIY watch clubs, I like this one the best. Let's see. Oh, this one <laughs> kind of mixed on this one. Uh, this was a conquest homage originally from Cadison a long time ago. Originally, one of the stupid things that it had originally was just like steel hands with no loom, yet the dial was loomed. So this is one of the first times I ever did a mod project where and there's a video out there. I did a hand transplant basically and put these kind of sin based hands. Um, 
a little bit of sentimental value, sort of, but I just don't wear it anymore. And I have a real conquest now. So I might see if anybody just wants it. I'd give it to him. The interesting thing, the funny thing with this watch, though, was I had po photos of this on my Instagram. And there was a Cadison Instagram account that saw it, stole the photos, and actually had it on their thing like they were going to sell this modded up version um, until somebody else who was a viewer kind of caught them and called them out on it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, this watch is, this is not like the greatest hits box. This is the end of the box. Uh, another Kronos. I sell it. I think it's got a PT 5000 movement. It's a Willard. I've seen enough yeah. of those. Yeah, so. Uh, and this one, I will not sell. This is kind of a Hall of Shame, Hall of Shame watch. Maybe one of the more interesting ones out there. Some of you may recognize this one. Um, Crestical. You might remember the name Crestical. Everybody <laughs> laughed. They did change it to Crest, Crestic, I think, eventually. Um, very interesting watch. Very cool watch because it's got this external bezel. You got an internal. Let me zoom in. They they had that spin-off brand called Weenus, didn't they? No, I thought I, I kept joking that they should really do a a, a ball alternative. Make oh, like a ball homage. Oh, yeah. Make a ball, ball homage. homage and have it called. Have you Crestical. seen Cresticle's ball homage? <laughs> um, it's actually using a kinetic Seiko kinetic GMT movement. Um, it's actually got really good loom. Has this cool bracelet. This is actually a prototype. This whole experience was kind of weird. Um, they sent it to me. I wasn't expecting to keep it. It's also titanium. Um, and as I was emailed them, said, hey, I'm ready to send this off to the next person. They're like, oh, go ahead and keep it. The reason it's a Hall of Shame watch is because the Kickstarter, the guy just ghosted everybody that jumped on it. Oh. Um, so people got screwed over. Ah, that sucks. So it's a nice looking watch, too. It's a cool watch. It was a great watch. And the yeah. thing is, I don't... If anybody is watching who was in it, feel free to comment. I don't think they really purposely planned on screwing people over because they were talking to me. Like the last time I ever emailed them, they said something about like, uh, well, they offered to send me another version that was all like pimped out because they were wanting to, <laughs> it's a big cresticle. <laughs> um, they were saying like they wanted to do another version and send it to me. And then a little while later, they just, they just ghosted everybody. Um, and people got screwed over. So, Right now, the plan is to keep this. And I've wanted to kind of say something. And maybe if you guys were part of it, or if you know anybody that was part of it, let them know. Tell them if you can give me proof that they were part of it, I'll just send them this watch. So at least one person doesn't get screwed over. That's a um, great idea. Great but idea. But until then, I'm holding on to it. But make sure they have some proofs. I just don't want people scamming me. I've had other people try to scam me with giveaways of, yeah, it, it becomes a pain. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. Um, that's all, eh? Yeah. So, yeah, most of this box would be sell, give away, um, other than, like, the ones I modded. And maybe that one. At least to me. Yeah. Give away that Vario because it's really nice, but you don't need it. Yeah. And, uh, and I really I like the one that's beside it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I just called this one, I think I nicknamed it the Cadison Empire because for some reason it reminded me of like the Death Star. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've never liked anything Cadison's done. And it's, that's really cool. it's not worth anything. So it's like I might as no. well just keep it that particular one. But G Shock, to me, that's a sell. Um, might might try to do that video. Um, I think I still have that Ayudas Tritium watch. I just need some, I'd like mm -hmm. some other Tritium watches to have to compare it to. Um, giveaway, sell. I might keep that one. Maybe give oh, away no. the other DIY watch. If anybody wants that one, let me know. Again, I modded it. Yeah. But otherwise... So, two hours and ten minutes. <laughs> that's all. That's all it took. Yeah. The thing is, one of the reasons people have been asking me to do a state of the collection for a while now, I think it's been mm -hmm. two years. Uh, the reason I haven't is because it's so out of control-ish. That I just couldn't think of a good way to do a nice streamlined edited video. So I was mm -hmm. figured, you know what? Screw it. Just do a live stream. Um, because here it's not supposed to be streamlined, it's just supposed to be long drawn out. And people can ask questions and bring it back up. 
So out of all of these watches, how many do you think you legitimately will sell? Um, number wise, I don't know. I wasn't counting, but I would say, uh, I mean, we probably need 40 watches easy. Yeah. Um, I, I would, yeah, I'd probably sell the ones that I said I would sell. I would definitely sell. It's just a matter of getting around to it. Yeah. Um, and okay. I need to probably put posts on my website and do maybe one or two a week and just see what people say that kind of want them. Um, at least that's kind of the plan. I think Von yeah. Rule's got a good point, except yeah. when you have a channel like Shane's, you're getting a new yeah. watch almost every week to review. And that's part of the thing, too, is like I was saying, it, this isn't just me being a complete hoarder. Um, it's also <laughs> I get stuff. Like, I don't even ask channels. I don't even ask brands if I can keep stuff. Uh, they just send it and they don't even ask for it back. Um, so stuff accumulates. And when I do have free time, I should think should sell stuff. I just kind of jump in and start making another video because to me, getting another video out there kind of has priority. But at some point I need to stop and say, hey. Let's clear some room out because I am running out of room. And part of the thing, too, is I've also bought watches like you guys have seen that I haven't got around to reviewing. And my plan was to review them then sell them. Uh, but I stopped doing that actually halfway through last year and wound up buying watches that I definitely want. And see, there's a couple of the, my newer ones that are a little nicer. So if you were to sell 40 watches, that's quite a bit of money. What, what would you do with that money? Well, I already spent some of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, this was about 900 that I paid, brought that for the secondhand Monta. I'm not going to say how much I paid for that just yet, but I did buy this one <laughs> secondhand too. Um, yeah. And I bought this thing. I debated back and forth on buying this Oris secondhand, but I just happened to find somebody on eBay who bought it six months ago from an authorized dealer. So it still has the full almost the full 10 year warranty. And that was one of the reasons I jumped on that one particularly. Um, uh, I, so far I really like it and I like, originally I was looking at the blue dial, but I started looking at pictures of this black one with this anthracite and I just loved it. Um, the integrated bracelet is kind of a blessing and a curse. Um, it's actually really comfortable. It makes it wear a little bit smaller but swapping out to something else is a pain. Um, they had the you know quick release things. This is a quick release bracelet, but you have to use their special quick release. You have to have one of their quick their quick release straps in order to actually make it work. And if you wanted to swap this out to another strap, you can. And people do make some aftermarket straps for them. So I can zoom in. I'm not liking it with these other watches here. But if you can see, there's this weird triangle screw that you have to have a special screwdriver to take out to actually do anything with, which is a pain. Do they provide that screwdriver? No. Um, if you buy one of their straps, no. I think they do, but otherwise. Oh. No. Okay. But yeah. But yeah, the three, this is kind of an interesting three watch collection too. And this is the last three watches that I bought um, along with my Glacier Seiko. Yeah, because the Zodiac is so interesting. It's so unusual. Um, the Manta is sort of field watchy, sort of dressy. Yeah. Uh, I live in Texas, in the Dallas area. In fact, if you guys missed, I might as well give him a plug again. If you missed it, uh, when I was talking about this uh, Zillos, not Zillos, Zodiac Olympus, um, I wore it yesterday because i did a podcast with the guys over at jack mason um it was the first time doing a podcast they invited me over because they're also in the same area and they actually have some connection to fossil uh where do i prefer to buy from it just depends on the watch um i'm kind of a deal hunter and i'm somewhat practical so i do look at gray market stuff a lot but when it comes to more expensive stuff i do start questioning that whether the warranty is worth it um but like, uh, well, this Zodiac I bought from Mark over at Long Island. I highly recommend because you can't really find much deals on Zodiacs unless you're buying them secondhand. Uh, my Glacier Seiko, Nomen, Nomen. Um, I think they're 
they Singapore based or wherever they are. They usually have some pretty good prices on like Seikos and things, and they're pretty good shipping wise. Um, otherwise, it's just kind of usually look around at times. But I mean, like Mark from Long Island, he's authorized dealer, so you pay a little bit more. But he's one I would definitely like recommend to anybody because his uh, customer service is top notch. If there's a problem, you know he'll take care of it. To answer your question, I moved out of Toronto about 12 years ago. So I'm about an hour and a half north, just south of Muskoka on Georgia Bay. Just lay some of these out there. So, but Mark, Mark is an excellent guy. Like, oh yeah, super, super nice guy. No, yeah. no pretense about him. Yeah. So I would recommend anybody buy something from him any day. Yeah, absolutely. He, uh, my wife bought me a watch a few Christmases ago and there's a bit of lint under the dial. We emailed him on Christmas day and he responded within a couple hours and shipped out a new watch as soon as the post office opened up a couple of days later. Oh, wow. Yeah. And yeah, I, 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 I told him, dude, you, you don't need to return customer emails on Christmas day. But yeah. Yeah. That seems like him. Yeah. I think like, I ordered the I ordered the Olympus on a Black Friday during his sale, even though it wasn't on sale. And yeah, it was like next business day, whenever the post office was actually shipping. I think he sent me a picture of like just a truck loaded with boxes that were going out. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. But anybody have any other questions? Just as long as we're doing this, wrap it up probably soon because it is getting a little late. <laughs> and we still got seventy seven people watching. Yeah, we've had a good crew sticking through this. Yeah, I could do that as another. Uh, let me highlight that. Um, second round, <laughs> if things I'm unsure on, <laughs> could be. and I might wind up uh, editing this to more streamlined. Although two hours seems like it's going to take forever to edit. Um, and I'm later in the year, I might do a another state of the collection on stuff is pared down. We'll see. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Just awesome to have you join us. And thanks Shane for, for this idea. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was good. Yeah. yeah and this whole it. other camera setup worked really well. We'll have to try it again. And uh, don't forget to go over to my channel. And oh, yeah. uh, whether you like it or not, just go and subscribe anyway. I'm on the March to 200. I mean, 3000. <laughs> There you go. Put that up. All right. So thanks, everyone. This has been a long one. Um, a lot of you have been requesting just seeing what I have, even though it's a, a wide mixture of things, good and weird and cheesy, whatever they are. Um, but thanks again. So we don't stream too often, but we do need to do. Oh, wait, hold on. Dave just popped back up. What, what, what is he? He's sort of live in the car. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> I, parked, hey, I parked the car. What I miss? <laughs> <laughs> We're just about wrapping it up. Oh, okay. Shane said he's yeah, going to donate the grocery all of his store. collection to charity. That's a very noble, noble thing. You'd be like the Mr. Beast yeah. of uh, the watch community. <laughs> yeah, there so, you go. Yeah, live in Japan on the street. Yeah, it That's is nice. daytime here. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, anyways. Thanks, everyone. Dave, do you want to plug anything as long as you're here? No, yeah. Hi, everyone. Bye, everyone. All right. I'm glad <laughs> I caught the tail in. All right. Yeah. All right. Two Thanks hours and 19 minutes. Yeah. We'll have to do See another stream soon. See oh, you guys. No. Oh, no. I know. I'm just going to make shopping harder now. <laughs> All right. See you guys.